pretend there's music playing. Just pretend. Yes, this is our new uh, BRB screen. The opening screen is also made by Palm 2. And the end screen, which we'll see when we finish, is probably my favorite. Also, the vortex in the background um, was created on a whim. She asked what I'd like in the background, and I was like, oh, just a cute pattern or like a vortex that leads to darkness. And she went with that one. Cupid Parasite. Sweet and spicy, darling. Okay, calm down. All right, hi guys, welcome. It's been a while. It's, I've missed you all. I hope you guys had a lovely time. We are back to playing Food Parasite. Previously, um, Shelby couldn't get it up, and now he can. Uh, and we're still alive, somehow. Um, I don't know what's happening anymore, if I'm being so real with you, but we're, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been so long. Thank you guys for joining me today for the first time. If you're not in the chat today, you probably don't know what's happening, but you know what? That's fine. All right. We are back to Shelby. We are in what chapter? We're in chapter 10 officially, and there's 14. So our goal is to try and get to the end of this. Uh, before I, my plans start. <laughs> but yes, welcome back, guys. It's been so long. Thank you. All right. Upon returning from Dia Moripedides, we embarked on research to understand what our employees wanted. Probably just to get paid more, if I'm being real. We held discussions with colleagues who stayed and sought honest opinions from new hires, pinpointing their likes and dislikes. Why did they join Cupid Corp? Why did they stay at Cupid Corp? And why did some choose to leave? We inter interspear. Okay, here's someone else. I actually, I don't know if I mentioned this on the stream or if I just complained about this IRL, but like imagine, close your eyes and just picture this. You are working day and night to get your business like in a good position because you feel threatened. And for some reason, you don't notice a bunch of your employees are quitting all the while. Weird, right? So a bunch of people quit and moved to work for this place that Omar Holdings had opened up. And we didn't even notice until we saw them working there, which is wild. And also, I would imagine Shelby, he's a very good businessman. Um, and I know this because of my doctor one time where my doctor was leaving the clinic that she was from. And I was like, oh, well, where are you going? I might try to go there. And it turned out her contract did not allow her to do like family care positioning in her new job. So like I would imagine he'd have a somewhere in their contract where if you quit Cupid Corps, you cannot work for another agency within a certain time frame without it like breaking the contract of some, um, some sense, especially since Cupid Corp uses a lot of ways to help find like people. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> we interspeared this investigation with our usual task aiming to uncover each of those reasons. I added, I'm still adding Atome Jam demos on my list. I don't, I don't know if I wanna. I'm gonna be playing a, a different game tomorrow for a little bit. Um, and then I have a meeting in the afternoon that I have to go to and I might still stream when I get back from that meeting, depending on if I wanna work on that or if I wanna work on my stuff for my trip because I'm flying on Saturday-ish. So tomorrow there might just be this one random game I'm gonna play, which I think is looks cute. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Change the game, blue, never. But no, Shelby again, sad face. And then put Cupid Petty Sight. 
and then hit done. There we go, we're real now. Our employees wanted to make Cubic Corpse a better company. They aimed to ensure our customers enjoyed happy marriages. And a few days later, Shelby and I returned to DMO Pedides for another inspection. We revisited areas we'd missed during our honeymoon and ventured to the cave at the edge of the island. Somewhere in the ocean lied my parents' temple. As we looked out at the sea, we sighed. Exploring the island like this makes me realize just how many positives it has. The arrangement of facilities is meticulously planned. Also, I was telling Max, who played Left 4 Dead with me, this story of this. I always share with him once a week my Otome adventures. Um, and I told him how silly the beginning of this was. And he's like, you're right, my story would have ended right there. I would have sold the company. <laughs> Just sold the company. Like, do it. They utilize their experience for managing shops, restaurants, and cafes. They know where to position them for max effect. They have honed customer behavior into a science, designing everything based on extensive data. And if, oh, that's right. Hang on. I gotta move her camera. Sorry. Hang on. It's the first time she's popped up on screen the entire time. I have to move my camera. Oh, actually, wait, I can also, uh, our lovely Prim sent me a update, by the way. The other base. The space goes away and the camera goes back on. Um, here's our bingo right now. Healthy relationship. Carrying thy queen. MC in initiates a kiss, make out, etc. Other, others disapproving relationship. Oh no. This is definitely a cupid parasite ending. A beach scene! I only consider that you're on a beach. A beach scene to me is in, in beach wear. Paradise is under attack. Which, you know what? I would argue right now it is. So maybe that should have already been marked off. Unless we mean this actual place is under attack, in which case it's currently not. It appears that all the employees are given the liberty to enjoy Diamoto Peridis whenever they wish, among other benefits. Oh. I hadn't considered that angle. I hadn't considered that angle. I failed in my attempt to understand others' viewpoints. I I've been too focused on my own perspective. That probably is why Eli Omar got the better of me. He is undeniably an adept businessman. <laughs> Shelby, you're a workaholic. But our company is full of passionate individuals. You're not alone. People's mind can change on a daily basis. That applies to both work and love. So, You're right. People's thoughts can shift every day. Shelby looked at me, a soft smile on his face. So, I'm not sure i that's a lie, because you were trying to get married when you met me, so... Had I not met you, I never would have considered marriage. Me too. So really? Yeah, if I hadn't fallen in love with you, I probably would have. I halted, realizing I was about to mention returning to Celestia. I wasn't sure he would believe me. As I looked down, I felt Shelby smile. <laughs> Please say it. But you might not believe me, it's about me being Cupid. I promise I won't dismiss what you say about being Cupid anymore. もちろん完全に理解したとは言えないが、お前はむやみに嘘をつくような人間ではないと知っているつもりだ. 
I can't guarantee that I'll understand everything, but I trust you're not the type to lie without reason. I believe in you, so believe in me too. Shelby. Oh. If only this continued like this. This game has lost my trust. Oh, actually, wait, hang on. I can switch this. I can change it. I can make this. I need to get the. Oh, so there's two more blue. So I have quite a few shells. Um, there's two more different shades of blue. There's a cobalt and like a royal. Sadly, I don't own either of those. And I technically. There's also white and black. So I don't have those two colors yet either. I'm only missing those four shells though. So you know what? Gotta, that's the closest blue I got to him. Tell me what you would have done if you didn't marry me. <laughs> I would have gone home, buddy. He gently asked me, so I hesitantly responded. If I didn't marry you, Shelby, I likely would have returned to Celestia. I did my best to explain to Shelby why I had left Celestia. I discussed how for centuries I tirelessly shot my Cupid arrows. Yet the rates of marriage continued to decline. The gods saw this as an issue in need of resolution. Then I stumbled upon Cupid Corp, which Shelby had established. That discovery shocked me. And it was the first time I questioned whether matchmaking really required divine intervention. That led to a massive argument with my father. He hesitated, the inv he resisted the involvement. The in oh God, I can do this. I know how to read. 163? Bro, did I miss a page? Was there like a change page and I missed it? Dude. He resisted the innovation methods humans had made for matchmaking. I felt a need to prove that humans could efficiently handle it too. This need became my obsession, driving me towards a promotion and... Consequently, I became the top bridal advisor in my second year. Being prompted to the top bridal advisor at Cupid Corp allowed me to fulfill my purpose. Had I achieved my goal, I might have returned to Celestia then. So, Your personal list, okay. I need to work with Excel a little bit more so I can learn how to modify things. Um, I like organization, but like I like organization to like the alphabetical degree and there's certain things when I use an Excel sheet where I have to move everything down by one. And I know there's a way to do it easier. I added 12 Atomi game jam demos. You're crazy. You are crazy. I see, so that's what happened. <laughs> Let me digest this. Celestia is in the sky, right? Well, not entirely, but it's located where humans can't see. Invisible to humans? Is there some kind of optical camouflage that would be a collision risk, wouldn't it? それで、その、お前がキューピットということはつまり、私より年上だったのか。And since you're Cupid, you're older than me, right? Well, yes. I came to the human realm right before college, so the human. So in human years, I would be six. Six. Six years old. But I did witness the construction of the trans. Continental railroads, so I'm not exactly six either. Can we just forget about the age thing? That is the worst line I've ever read. Right, you're still you, I won't overthink it. I accept the fact that you're Cupid. I'd like to know more about you. Could you tell me about these things? Yes. Thank you. 
Shelby smiled at me, a look full of warmth and understanding, signaling it didn't matter whether I was Cupid or not. He was making the effort to believe in things he had once thought impossible. I hate my life. Visual novels certainly ruined my life in a good way, though. In a good way. Ah, my life is ruined, but like, in a good way. <laughs> Even if he couldn't fully believe, it was enough for me that he was trying. At that moment, the sounds of the ocean wave drew my attention and I looked out to the sea where I noticed a gleam beneath the surface. In the distance, I spotted what looked like a white rock, perhaps the temple for my parents. The majestic structure paired with the stunning ocean view took my breath away. It's so beautiful. So done, huh? Yes. He stood beside me, wrapped his arms around my shoulders. Also, Leah. <laughs> こんな場所で婚活する人たちはいい思い出ができてオマールウェディングに感謝するだろうな。Follow test, tell me visual novel, pursue the true truth of a tragedy and this dark fantasy suspense atome game. We create a dark fantasy suspense atome game. Ahem. In the era shrouded in darkness, where the world is sealed off and a deadly plague ravages the land, a peaceful village is ruthlessly attacked by a knightly order, leaving your home destroyed and family murdered. Saved by a mysterious figure, you are led to a magical city floating on the sea. There the strangers proclaim you are the Moon Witch, destined to guide the people to prosperity. But amidst your newfound safety, the status turmoil begins to brew, a sudden death sends a shockwave through the kingdom friends turn on each other aliases alliances falter and blades begin to clash you yearn to end the cycle of tragedy and forge a lasting peace as tensions escalate the time will soon come to decide who to trust and which path to tread to path to tread to witness the unfolding of your fates i mentioned this game on discord a couple months ago there will be a news a couple of days ago what's the news Fianna. Fianna looks so pretty. Like, she looks like Marita. <gasps> Oliver is beautiful. Huh, for a farmer's girl, you're pretty clever. Hang on, I can go back down here. The Kickstarter is new. Oh, the Kickstarter is new. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this going to have voice actors? Hang on. Hola, hola. This needs to be an USD for me. I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. Ishmael? Oh my god! Ishmael! Every time you send a link, Asia, there will be a uh, will be an ad for you. Emmanuel de Beaumont. Okay. Oh. Okay. I like Melody. I need this game. For Nile. Okay. Magical principle. I think that we can't. <gasps> okay. Okay. Don't fall. Oh, his face looms before me, and his distinctive hair lightly touches my shoulder. I assume. Oh, switch? What? Switch. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Things I don't need? Hell yeah. Well, yeah, here's a Kickstarter for a game. This looks adorable. And they're almost one third to their goal. It looks beautiful. I'm excited for that one. It looks so much like uh, uh, Castlevania. That's what it gives me the vibe of. And I will always be thirsty for Castlevania. Just to be clear. Always. I bet anyone who gets married here will create some wonderful memories. They'll be grateful to Omar's wedding. Alucard, my number one husband. Oh my god. 
We went to round one for my friend's birthday party and they have a Castlevania card machine and that's the card I wanted. And I couldn't get it. I got, I forgot who I got. But I wanted, I wanted, I wanted my, my boy. I need to, I actually never watched, fun fact, I never watched the Netflix show for it. Um, but I played the games. But Alucard is, is beautiful. Watch it, I know. Actually over here, um, I don't know if you can see them. Uh, they're right here, that's a, that's Castlevania right there. I have two Game Boy Advance Castlevania games in their boxes right here. I love Castlevania. <laughs> I love Castlevania. I love vampires. I just have a thing. I I was raised on Interview with a Vampire, okay? Like, I have a problem. But yeah, I have two Castlevanias here. I have more than two, though, but this is two of them. I think I had some of this, the DS games, too. I don't get rid of my Castlevania. The merit success rate will probably even surpass that of Cupid Corpse. His arm around my shoulders reminded me of a past moment. There had been a night out before we officially started dating when he had embraced me similarly. Honestly, that would be something I could do. Try to play all the Castlevanias. Although the 360 one I did try and I didn't like it as much. We had still been an advisor and a man seeking marriage at the time, so we had used the pretext of it being practice to go on a date. The atmosphere had been just right and we had nearly shared a kiss but it hadn't happened. If Shelby had been a little braver or if I had recognized my feelings sooner perhaps we would have kissed that night. Diamor Petides has the power to create such an atmosphere. That was why advisors needed to tread carefully in this match in their matchmaking. It was important to prevent members from rushing into marriage in the heat of the moment only to later regret it. Indeed, the marriage success rate might rise, but I'm not sure that I that's always a good thing. What do you mean? Because it's in, so enchanting. You might let the atmosphere cloud your judgment, cause you to misinterpret your feelings. Turning around, I stood by my tiptoes and gave Shelby a quick peck on the lips. What? What are you? Doesn't it feel more thrilling than when we do it at home? It... Oh, oh. Yes. You're right, except when we're at home, you might take your clothes off afterwards, so I'm a little perplexed. That's what I'm saying. If matchmaking happens in a place like this, every meeting could feel like a dreamy romance. While the success rate of marriage might increase, an advisor's job isn't just about the numbers. We've worked tirelessly to ensure couples find happiness not just in marriage, but even after. I let, that, let the memories of my time as a bridal advisor wash over me as I looked at the ocean's waves. You might fall in love due to a temporary infatuation, but eventually reality sets in. That's why advisors should always be honest with their clients. We shouldn't encourage a fleeting romance that could lead to a breakup. Since I was Cupid, I wished for their happiness not only during their romantic, romantic journey, but also after marriage. The kind of matchmaking I aspire to promote enduring love that persists for decades. <laughs> so, I see. You really do love matchmaking. Yes, because I was stupid. <sighs> You're right. He acknowledged me with a smile and we shared another kiss. We enjoyed that romantic kiss by the quiet seashore. Anyone would fall in love in this sort of environment. Even though I wasn't working for Cupid Corp anymore, I found it hard to be wholly supportive of Omar Wedding's approach. She's still working for Cupid Corpse. It should be because I wasn't a bridal advisor anymore. I wondered deeply about what I could do for the sake of Cupid Corpse and lost workers. A few days later, I found Raul in the rest of the president's office for an unexpected reason. So, so, you're good, 
死因はでキューピッドは軍神アレースとアフロディーテの子供って言われてるんだ you know your stuff in mythology キューピッドは the the child of the god of war アレースとアフロディーテアレースっていうのがさっきのマーズでアフロディーテがヴィーナスねアレースは another name for Mars and Aphrodite is Venus なあ,あそこは本で読んだ Yes I recall reading that でなんだっけいつからキューピッドの記述が出てくるかだっけそれには諸説があってボッタチェリは When did Cupid first appear in text? There are several theories about that Broda Shelley said ってあれ先生だ久しぶり Teacher, no, long time no see. Good evening, Raul. What brings you here? 実はシェルビーから神話について聞きたいって連絡をもらったんだ。If you say his name three times, he will appear and we will cry. <laughs> Don't you said it twice! Asia, no! Stop saying it! Shelby called me up saying he wanted to learn about mythologies. Shelby did! No, no. 神話を知るための参考文献をメールで聞いただけなんだが直接講義をしに来てくれたんだ。あのシェルビーが神話に興味持つなんて嬉しくてたくさん文献持ってきちゃった。I was thrilled Shelby took an interest in mythology, so I brought plenty of reference materials. I was working nearby on seven avenues, so the timing was perfect. That's why I'm here. I was working nearby on seven avenues, so the timing was perfect. That's why I'm here. Really? Oh, Shelby went and asked Raul about mythology. Shelby must have sought out Raul to deepen his understanding of mythology, something he previously had shown no interest in. He was making an effort to understand Cupid, Mars, and Venus. That revelation made me exceedingly happy. Curious about his learning progress, I decided to test him. Ask him about Jupiter. Ask him about Psyche. Oh, wait, I just realized. Hang on. Wrong spicy. Oh, we're at five. Okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. Do you know about Psyche? Pushke. Yeah, Sumanai. Mada, Lishu, stay night. Shay? It's Psyche, right? Am I saying it wrong or is he saying it wrong? Who said it wrong? I'm sorry, I haven't learned about her yet. No. 今日持ってきた本の中にちゃんと載ってるよ。簡単に説明すると、美の女神ヴィーナスが妬むほどの美人プシュケとキューピッドの恋のお話で。To tell of Cupid and Psyche, a woman so beautiful that even Venus, the goddess of beauty, envied her. Cupid was a woman that 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 was No, I know nothing about any psyche. Most of the stories related to Cupid are fictional. Besides, in this story, Cupid is portrayed as a young man. So you're certain it's a, not a fact that they were in love? Yeah, this is my first time in the human realm. You're the only one I've ever fallen in love with, Shelby. Don't worry. Oh, I'm the only one. I see that's reassuring. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I gotta read through that one. What are you doing? 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 What are you Shelby looked completely confused. Mochirondayo! Shinkai to Mekaiwa Hyori, it's time. 
あーもっと話してたいんだけど俺撮影の時間になっちゃった Absolutely, Celestia and the Underworld are two sides of the same coin.、Oh, I'd love to discuss more, but it's time for my fume. てことでこれ、課題図書ね。Yeah, these books should help. じゃあ、また話そうね。気になることあったらいつでも聞いて。Let's chat again soon. Feel free to ask me anything. ああ、今日は勉強になった。ありがとう、ラウル。Thank you, Raul. This has been quite informative. 俺も楽しかったから大丈夫だよ。It's okay. じゃあね。Bye. Have a lot of fun. Bye. そそれにしても I see, I see, I see, I see, I see.、Okay. 愛の楽園だなんて言うから。You forget to save after a choice. It happened. Alright, so that one's now right.、Um, and then, after leaving a mountain of books on the table, r a u l will left. Alright, now we're gonna save. Not save, we're gonna load. I know what I'm doing. Watch this, it's amazing. Ask him about Jupiter. Do you know about Lord Jupiter? Ah, Kaminari o Ayatsuru, D. Consentes no Shushin Daro. 巨人族との戦いギガントマキアや最終決戦でも勝利を収め世界に調和をもたらした、yeah. Uh, he brought peace to the world. 一方で数多くの女神人間の女性に手を出しており妻ジュノーは常にジュピターの行動を見張っていたとされている side, women, 神話を学ぶにあたり一番最初にラウルに教えてもらった知識だここを抑えることが重要だと言われてな I'm impressed that Shelby's newfound knowledge. I'm sure he made a genuine effort to memorize all the information Raul had given him. Besides him, beside him Raul was nodding approvingly. That's correct, Lord Jupiter, being the supreme god, has countless tells and attributes to him. So, no, you don't know. Mada, oh boy, Rebecca, you could have got a tax on her. She can't get a tax. There's a lot more to learn, but I don't have enough time. Suffice you. Shelby, no pace there. 楽しく覚えていけばいいんだよ。Take it at your own pace, Shelby, and enjoy the process. で、先生はジュピターに様をつけて呼んでるんだね。わかるよ。偉大な神だもんね。尊敬しちゃうよね。Oh, teacher, I noticed you always refer to Jupiter as Lord. I get it. He is a significant god after all. I respect that. Roll had caught on to my habitual use of the word Lord. Oh, right, Lord Jupiter. He is indeed a formable god. I thought it appropriate to address him that way. Kaisha Soshiki to Najdana. Kanojo, a sorega mini tsuite iru no daro. It's similar to a company organization. It's a habit for Leah. Shelby's attempt to support me with charmingly typical of him, and I couldn't help but smile. Shinwa o Kaisha Soshiki ni atehame te kangaeru no ari ka mo ne. Ah, motto hanashte ta in da kedo. Ore, satsue no jikan ni natcha ta. Thinking of mythologies in terms of a company hierarchy does make sense. I wish I could stay longer, but I have to leave for filming. てことでこれ、課題図書ね。These books should help. じゃあ、また話そうね。気になることあったらいい。Shelby cleared his throat and moved the pile of books to the corner of the room a little awkwardly. ええ、では改めて。社内の福利厚生について相談させてもらえるか
There's no need for him to hide it. Watching Shelby stash away the mythology books reminded me of his past purchases, like the virality supplements, a soft shell turtle. Typical of his reserved nature, he didn't like to show when he was trying hard to excel at something. Yet, knowing that his engaging in research makes me happy. As those thoughts went through my mind, Shelby picked up a document from a stack of paper. では、早速これを見てくれ。お前の意見も踏まえて、福利厚生を見直した案だ。Have a look at this first. I considered your feedback and revised the benefit packet. Let's see. The document Shelby had prepared was thorough and well constructed. 社員のワークライフバランスの改善やQOL、クオリティオブライフの向上に会社が協力する方向で考えている。the company is committed to improving the work-life balance and overall quality of life of employees. Everything from salaries to working hours, facility benefits, and even rent payment assistance is mentioned in here. One of the best parts is access to the gym on 7th Avenue. Really? Yeah, a lot of my coworkers go, but many of them have issues with the distance and equipment. This perk would address those problems, would it? This part about changing the employee's cafe menu daily isn't necessary. Is that so? Yeah, everyone is satisfied with the current menu. Some people even have routines built around it. I think you should keep this as a base and modify it. Instead of completely overhauling the menu, how about offering more choices? Choices. Yeah, for instance, some people may not want salads, while others might only want salads. You could accommodate this by... We should consider this segment of work hours its promise, but that was how our conversation flowed as we del deliberated over the company's benefits. Of course, it was only a draft. The intent was to have further discussions and gather feedback before finalizing the document. By the time we managed to reach a consensus, night had already enveloped the day, and it was time for us to make out in this tiny room. Phew, we've finally done it! At the sight of me standing up and stretching, Shelby let out a sigh. It's insightful. I realize how crucial it is to hear from the ground level. Perception can be so different without that perspective. We can't just rely on theory. We need policies that suit the business's real-world conditions. I was about to implement this things based on my own satisfaction and save you save me from that mistake. Thank you. <laughs> That's good to hear. It hasn't been long since I worked at the ground level myself. It's surprising how much my perspective has changed. With that benefit... With these benefits in place, it's tempting to return as an advisor role. I think this will be fine. So okay. Okay, Shelby. <sighs> Do you really want to go back to the ground level? Well, I enjoy considering the company as a whole, but I must admit I miss interacting with our customers. So I see. You should. I could arrange for you to go back if that's what you want. Hold on. I do miss the ground level, but could you give me some time to decide whether I really want to return? I thought that's what you wanted. Well, it's a tough decision because I like both. So. Really? Yeah. Yes, the work I'm doing now is valuable and I enjoy being by your side, Shelby. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said I wanted to go back to working on the ground level. The truth is I like both. So can we keep things as they are for the time being? お前。ルビア。もちろんだ。だが現場に戻りたくなったらいつでもすぐに教えてくれ。お前に本音を隠されるほうが辛いからな。Absolutely. I'll consult with you immediately. I nodded and the atmosphere seemed to lighten. I'm sorry for before. No need, Shelby. I appreciate you listening to me. 
Of course. Shucks. Shelby stood and extended his arms toward me. I moved into his embrace. <sighs> I love you. Ah. I love you too. He wrapped his arm around my back and patted me affectionately. Moments later, he lifted my chin and our lips met in a kiss, and soon it deepened. <laughs> Shelby? Feeling anxious, I pushed against his chest, but he pulled me close once more. Oh, this is what we were asking for last time. We didn't get it. Before I knew it, I was being lifted and placed on his desk. Huh? No. Leah? I thought he was sitting me on his desk, but then he placed his hand on either side of me, blocking any escape. I tried to slide off, but he silenced my protest with a kiss. <laughs> Shelby. I tried to ask him to slow down, but his onslaught of passionate kisses left me breathless. I reached for support, my arms encircling his neck. That only seemed to draw him closer, his embrace tightening around me. What's happening? Shelby was leaning over me from above, his wild kisses never ceasing. <laughs> Ken, I like your voice. I don't know what's happening. I've totally lost my self-control lately. Loosening his tie with one hand, the sound of the sliding fabric sent my heart racing. Shall be right here. Everybody on the floor should have left by now. The clock did confirm it was past midnight, but still I wasn't convinced it was a good idea. Can't we continue this at home? You're the one that taught me. Taught you what? Damuru Paradi no Misaki de Kisu Statoki no Hanashida. About the kiss at Cape Diamor Paradis. I recalled making the comment in jest how the location makes my heart pound more than when we kiss at home. The setting was significant, but I never thought he'd take it so seriously. That may be true. Before I could raise my concerns about Someone showing up, my words were cut off by Shelby's playful laughter and a touch of my lips. I'll just lock the elevator. Shelby slid his fingers over his keyboard and remotely put a lock on the elevator. His quick action guaranteed no interruptions. Left without any further objections, I watched as a playful smile lit up Shelby's face. I think the lock to the elevator should be on any time he's not here. Hear me out. What? That's an option? Now we shouldn't have any problems. Shall we? I, stayed. I love you. I can feel that. Shelby's smile was, was sweeter than I'd ever seen during our work hours. He leaned in to kiss my neck. Tickled by his breast touch, I attempted to pull my shoulders away, but Shelby held me with both arms, exploring my neck with his tongue. Perhaps the softshell turtle's influence was stronger than we thought. Was there more to it than just enhancing his capabilities? Shelby was dil diligent and always thorough, which led me to believe he was likely taking precautions against any adverse effects. His impatience was probably a side effect. His kiss was slightly more forceful than it had been during our honeymoon. His lips moved lower. It was hard to imagine Shelby, the office workaholic, behaving like this, especially not in the office. But there was the window was there. Can people see? Let them see that I am a devoted husband after all. Embracing on the work desk, we were engaged in, in anything but work. The elevator doors might have been locked, but there was still the window, the thrill of possibility being seen in ignited an even greater passion. We knew we shouldn't, but we couldn't stop ourselves. We were lost in the thrill, intoxicated like a newly dated couple. Okay. But are you though? Are you? The following morning, are we still at the office? Ah. 
We didn't leave the office until 2 a.m. Exhausted, we returned to our 8th Avenue home for the first time in what felt like forever. I'm sleepy. The alarm blared at 5 a.m. Shelby was aware, was always cramming too much into his schedule, so he had an early morning meeting. He was dressed and ready in a blink of an eye. <laughs> Sorry, did I wake you? No. I'm fine. I'll head to the office too. You can go back to sleep. I put too much strain on you already. I've already filled the coffee maker with your favorite Grey Mountain beans. Enjoy them when you wake up. That's sweet of you, but what are your... I'll be fine on my own. I can take care of work. Just take the morning off. He kissed me on the forehead and let the, left the bed. After a few more minutes of getting ready, he was out the door. I better get up too. It was incredibly sleepy after last night's activities with Shelby. Getting up wasn't exactly easy. Despite our late night, Shelby was his usual energetic self this morning. He told me to take the morning off, so maybe I should. I'll have some of that coffee Shelby prepared for me and... Half asleep, I reset the alarm before burying my face back in my fluffy, high-quality pillow. I was enveloped in Shelby's scent, which coerced me back into a world of dreams. Uh... She was too adorable. As I walked to work, I found myself grinning at the thought of how cute my wife was. I ground up those coffee beans, hoping the aroma would calm me down, but no luck. Her sleepy smile was too charming. She was irresistible the night before, and her sleeping expression in the morning made me want to abandon all my work just to be with her. And if you had sold your company, you could be doing that right now. Her, right now. Of course, I maintained my iron will for self-control. <laughs> the best thing about this route is Shelby acting like a simp. I live for it. Yeah, I like it, but I feel like there's got to be a reason, and I feel like the reason's going to piss me off. That or the spicy bad ending is them just becoming, like, way too engrossed in sex all the time. Just, I don't know. The issue with DMR parodies is still unsolved after all. We'd managed to stem the approaching of our employees, but their superior service remained a threat. If we didn't tackle the problem head on, they'd keep trying to steal our staff. That's why I need to work, work, and work some more until this issue is resolved. I must only think about work. The moment my focus wavered, my thoughts always returned to her. The happiness of being married to her constantly filled my mind. Each day, with the deepened of my love, I was... It was a feeling I'd never experienced before. <laughs> Eli Omar made a fair point during our last conversation. He had proposed that if I gave up my company, I'd have more time with my wife and considerable finance security. He was a skilled negotiator. However, after assessing the company's structure and discussing it with Lynette, who's Lynette? We began implementing changes. We also need to research Cupid in my spare time. Leah said she used to be Cupid and it's unthinkable that she would lie. I wanted to believe her, which, which was why I intended on re on researching the matter. There's no time to be thinking about this. Checking my watch, I quickened my pace towards the office. Was that a heart? That was cute. As I arrived, my mind was inevitably pulled back to the previous night's event. <coughs> the memory made it twice as hard to concentrate on work. Welcome back, Shelby. Oh, tadaima. Yes, I'm, I'm back. The day we managed to leave work earlier than usual and planned to meet at 
our first avenue home. We promised on our way home to make dinner together. I finished preparing for dinner, so can uh, you go get your change? Uh. Sure, wear nothing, please. Shelby replied with a timid smile as he retreated to the bedroom. I noticed he was carrying a few mythology books. Is he getting a lecture from Raul again? Is that why he told me to go home first today? Recently, Shelby had been receiving mythology lessons from Raul whenever he found time. He had also started asking me various questions about Cupid, about my former life as a deity, and what happened since I arrived in the human realm. I told him to learn the general background. He seemed slightly annoyed, but quickly conceded that it was necessary. I didn't expect him to ask me so many questions. We had argued a lot when I first revealed my past to him. Uh, forgot to do something. Perhaps that confrontation led him to work through his incompatibility views. Even in such a short amount of time, he had been doing his best to spend time together and understand my perspective. Since we both held certain non-negotiable values, we worked hard to understand each other better. I hit the wrong button, hang on. Our busy lives sometimes threw our routines off balance, but we were finally finding time for one another. That's why I was putting extra effort into making tonight's dinner. As I set the table, Shelby returned to the living room, now dressed in more comfortable attire. <gasps> that looks amazing. It smells so good. Cabbage rolls, beef must have taken a long time to make. What's this? His gaze settled on another dish. <laughs> They're chocolate mini donuts. Oh, she'll get so drunk. Sweet or spicy? I think we're on sweet right now. I lied, we're on spicy. I didn't make that one. They're from the donut shop called Most Donuts on 7th Avenue. It's been getting popular. It was late after work, so that's the only flavor they had left. You're okay with chocolate mint, right? Knowing he occasionally enjoyed mojitos, I figured mint would be a pro wouldn't be a problem. Ah, I do like mint, it's alright. Great, I hope you save some for dessert, but it might be a bit heavy for after dinner. It was a full-size donut, probably better served as a snack than a dessert following a meal. It said mini donuts. だいじょうぶだ。しっかりデザートにいたとこ。わざわざ仕事終わりに買いに行ってくれたんだろ。何よりその気持ちが嬉しいからな。It's all right. I'll have it as dessert. You went through the trouble of getting it after work. It's the thought that counts. Ah, uh, sweet. I messed up again. All right. First we'll load this one because I got to get it up to the right part anyway. I need the spicy choices, I believe. Then we'll get their natural. We'll get there naturally. And then <laughs> this is a this is a lot. This is a lot. Hang on. Then we'll load this one. That was a This one is the sweet side, so we're going here. This should just be so sweet. It should be seven sweet now. Perfect. 
All right, great. Then let's eat. Ah, arigato. Thank you. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Yes, let's. As we get our meal, Shelby grin. Mm hmm. Ah, <sighs> umai na. Umai. This is delicious. Okay, we're gonna save this one. See, this is a lot of work, but we're gonna get all the endings at once. All the endings everywhere, all at once. All right, now we're gonna load our spicy choice again. Now we're gonna go with spicy Thai stir fry. I made this based on what I saw that the night market street food at GMO Pedidis. I know things are complicated because of Eli Omar, but I wanted us to remember that islands fondly. That's why I tried to recreate it at home. I did it from memory, so I can't guarantee it'll taste as good. So, this one just feel more sweet. I don't want to forget that. I want to cherish those memories too. I never forgotten them, not for a moment. So, I can live like that again. I'll try to make the best of my life. That's why I'll do my best to ensure we can experience moments like that again. I might, it might not be right away. Space. こうして料理を通して思い出させてくれて感謝している。前進するためのスパイスになりそうだ。I appreciate you helping me remember through your cooking. It's like the spice of life to help me keep going. I'm glad you like it. Now let's eat before it gets cold. Ah, arigato. Thank you. Let's eat. Shelby smiled and happily as he scarfed down his dinner. I had been a, it had been a long time since we were able to share a meal so casually. Food sure tastes better when we eat together. So dana, sugoku oishi. You're right. It does taste good. こうして食事を取るのも久しぶりのような気がするな。Looks like it's been a while since we ate together like this. It definitely has. We've only been having your jelly drinks lately. So dara. Tsui ikse de so shite shimatte ita. Right, it's a habit that I got into. Shelby, I worry that you're skipping meals when you're busy with work, but I'm glad you're eating today. Sumanai. Omae ni bakari kuro wo kakete iru na. Sorry for putting that strain on you. No, Shelby, I know how much you care about me and the company. Don't worry about it. Omae. Oh my, Leah. I'm sure a lucky man. His sincerity brought out a laugh from me. You're so dramatic. I'm not exaggerating. I truly mean it. That's why I want to make you happy, so please wait just a little longer. Sure. He was currently trying to deal with Omar's wedding and DMO Pedides. We had brainstormed countermeasures together, but Shelby was clearly preparing for a bigger battle. He just asked me to trust him, and that was what I intended to do. I believed in Shelby, so I knew things wouldn't turn out for the worse. And yet... After dinner, we settled onto the sofa to watch the news. Anytime they watch the news, something bad happens. It has been a while since we had all turned on the TV. We usually caught up on news via YouTube or Instagram and went to the theater for movies. The broadcast felt somewhat refreshing until a familiar word caught my attention. Hi! Today, I'm going to show you the report from the Damur Paradis. Hiya! We're reporting live from Diamor Paradis. I'm going to open the new one. 連日大盛り上がりのダムールパラディですがなんとさらに拡張の計画が立っているとのことです The newly opened Diamor Paradis has been receiving quite a lot of attention There are now plans to expand it further 計画ではこちらの島の先端にある岬の先を埋め立てさらに楽しめる施設を増やすそうです the plan involves land reclamation past the cape of the island to increase the number of facilities. 遊園地か水族館が新たにできるかもと噂されています。ますますの発展に期待が高まりますね。Rumors suggest they'll be adding a theme park or an aquarium. We can certainly expect more attractions now.
拡張計画か相変わらず手広くやろうとしているなってそんなに青ざめてどうしたそういえば先日お会いした時におっしゃっていたな。Temples. I think they did mention that when we met the other day. その神殿というのは神々にとってそれほど重要なものなのか。Are these temples that important to the gods? Yes, they are. Dad always said there is no greater joy than feeling the faith of the people. That's why in ancient times they would descend to the human realm to help the people. I'm not sure when, but at some point they stopped directly interfering with humans. So, so, Girisha Shinwa to you know, Nakanaka Okubukaina. See, this Greek mythology thing is. Daga, Girisha Niwa, Imamo Mada, Okuno Shindenga Nokoti Rudaro. So, there were Damenanoko. Lots of temples remaining in Greece, aren't those enough? I thought so too, but Dad has a lot of pride. If he knew. Knows they're intentionally trying to destroy it, he will definitely get angry. What do I do about this? I was reminded of my dad's previous fits. If land reclamation ended up burying his temple, he'd unleash his anger on a monumental scale. And when mom gets mad, she gets really mad. On the TV footage of ships dumping gravel into the sea showed the island expansion was already underway. What do I do? Please don't let it get. The same location as mom and dad's temples. Why? But my prayers seem to fall on deaf ears. The next morning, a torrent, torrential downpour accompanied by storm, strong, strong winds confined us to our home. What a big hurricane. Yeah, all the transportation is stopped and the roads are closed. Last night's weather forecast said it'd be a sunny today. When were the last time recent weather forecasts were this off? Shelby equally puzzled turned on the TV for news. The screen flashed with a breaking news alert about the hurricane. This is a report on the sudden hurricane. Catherine. Catherine is localizing its assault on Las York and has brought flooding to an island and the Moor parody. All transportation is being affected. The Moor parody got flooded. Did you see the shape of the clouds on the news just now? Oh, Mio na Katacho Statana. ロサンヨークとパラディ島だけを覆っていたようだが sure And the related places always flood. I remember the last time Dad fell in love with the volcano vacuum cleaner. Last year, had seen rain then too, but since her anger was directed at Dad, the weather hadn't been as severe. Mom, being the goddess of beauty, holds great power among the gods of the Deconsentus. We should never make her angry. The gods must never be disregarded. It would be an even worse if Dad got angry. What do I do? Paradise Island is being targeted with the floods. It's obvious that mom is mad about the land reclamation. Why don't we not do anything? We have nothing to do with DMR Paradise. Problem solved. If it's destroyed, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, 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 Recalling that mom and dad had recently gotten smartphones, I dialed their numbers. After a few rings, mom. Eros! Eros! Are you okay? I saw on TV about the plans to land reclamation over where your temple is. So, no! I was in the same place! I was in the same place! I was in the same place! Yes, our temples got buried under. That's why I'm protesting with a hurricane right now. 
So this hurricane was you're doing after all. How dare they bury my beautiful temple? It's unforgivable. This may be true, but I wish she didn't cause hurricanes as if she were filing a complaint to a call center or something. I was hoping that they would make it a beautiful underwater tunnel to make it a beautiful sightseeing spot. What happened was them dumping gravel. Unforgivable. I have to cause a hurricane to put a stop to this. I started dumping gravel on Mars's temple too. Mars, comfort me. Mom unloaded all of her grievances and then abruptly hung up. It was clear from her tirade that her temple was being desecrated and she had summoned the hurricanes in retaliation. Her temple must have been the one they buried yesterday. Does that mean that the land reclamation has to stop? So And that will stop the hurricane. Shelby seemed confused, yet he made an effort to comprehend the situation. The notion that mom had triggered a hurricane seemed absurd from a human's perspective, yet Shelby was trying to believe it. <laughs> Gathering my courage, I nodded in agreement. Yes, if they halt the land reclamation it's and safe code Mon's temple, she will cease her wrath. Oh, thank you for following, Card Captor. Mom is creating the hurricane as a form of protest. I hope this will deter the expansion plan. I'm not sure that'll be enough to halt their plans. Shelby voiced his doubts as he checked the news on his phone. <laughs> Gotta support our Atomi gamers. Thank you. I appreciate that. Official DMO Pedides announcement from DMO Pedides Island. Flooding forced us to temporary close, but repairs have been completed. Please come and visit us. DMO Pedides hashtag open. There was news on the official account. They've already completed the repairs, which is ridiculous. That should not be done. It should still have so much to do. It's still a hurricane. Really? I peered at Shelby's phone screen incredulous. Reports of flooding damages were widespread, but they claim they efficiently drain. Their efficient drainage system has resolved the issue. <laughs> Minor damage. All staff safe. They promise to ensure the current guest have a safe and enjoyable stay. That's impressive. The news of the flooding was alarming, but they already managed the water situation. That's the power of Omar Holding. Look at that man. They participate all potential disasters and diverse solutions in advance. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not that easy to prepare for a hurricane. And especially if the hurricane is still happening. Like, what? I almost certain they'll proceed with the land reclamation. What to do if they also cover up dad's temple they'll face far more serious consequences than mere floods next on their list was the location of dad's temple if they end up burying the mars temple i dreaded the extent of dad's fury oof we gazed through a crack at the curtain at the tempestuous sky the storm was already strong so what would happen if dad's wrath was invoked? the wrath of the gods Shelby mumbled to himself. He wasn't making light of the situation. 
His tone suggested a deep, unwavering belief in the extension existence of such divine fury. But oh, that was a short chapter. Okay. They just wanted to make it a chapter, I guess. They're like, we're locked inside. <laughs> Do you know what that feels like? Have you been trapped inside your house? No. Never? Crazy. We have two more chapters before we get an ending, right? Which means we have two more choices? No, we have three more choices. Wait, what the heck? Oh, we have a chapter. Oh, choice here, choice here, choice here. Okay, that's three more choices. Do we not have a... Did we have a choice in this one? No. Yes? Did we? Did we? It says choice, but we didn't make a choice. We just lived through that. Does this know when to put a check mark? Does it know? Choice one, two, no choice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, there was no choice in this chapter. That check mark should not be check marked. They they're wrong. I'm right. <laughs> Due to the wrath of Hurricane Catherine, Lost York had been paralyzed for two consecutive days. Fortunately, the weather improved, allowing us both to return to work. Look, even tables have been knocked down. Yeah, that one should be removed entirely. Actually, they both should be. That one's the roots aren't even. How is that stained? Oh, I'm in the way of that. Hang on. You can't even see. Look how ridiculous this is. That's not possible. Sirs. They need to fix that. And then people start dying after the hurricane because they're just walking under these trees that are floating. The hurricane really did a number. Part of 2nd Avenue is still underwater, according to the news. But Diamore Paradis, where the eye of the storm was, is fine. Mom's hurricane was this powerful. <laughs> yeah, that shop's windows are broken. It's better to walk on this side. Thank you. Due to the fallen trees, our usual commute by car was impossible. Instead, Shelby and I took the subway to work. I can't imagine the subway being working right now. Because of Mom, much of Lost York had come to a standstill. The subways having been in inundated had only just resumed services. What? I doubt it. Although it was operating, it was far from comfortable. <laughs> It's packed again today. Seems like nobody can commute by car just like us. It says it's 60% more crowded than usual. This level of congestion was atypical for Lost York, and I found myself struggling to keep my balance. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I apologize when a sudden jolt of the subway caused me to bump shoulders with a person next to me that was hardly any room to move. I just reminded me, I hit somebody in the head. <sighs> At a, We went to Hamilton. I hit somebody in the head on my way to my chair because I was trying not to be in people's way and I wasn't looking forward and I had a drink in my hand. It was, it was a bottle. It was fine. It was a water bottle, like a water bottle. And like, in terms of like it wasn't like a glass but like i i'm here i'm watching my steps and i'd like hit this person with a water bottle and i was mortified and they didn't even move i don't even know if they cared <laughs> so startled i apologize when a sudden jolt of the subway caused me to bump shoulders with the person next to me there was hardly any room to move it was the midst of my confusion shelby pulled me closer to him <laughs> are we gonna do it right now <laughs> it's not good they probably didn't care. Like, I I was struggling. Like, I was stepping over people's feet to get to my seat. And, like, I was so focused on where I was stepping, I wasn't watching my hand. So, are you okay? Let's move this way. I just, well, I bump into everything. I bump into things that I don't even know how I bumped into it. Because I feel like they're far enough away that I shouldn't have even bumped into it. I'm talented. 
Thanks. Shelby carved out a space for me in the crowd's crowded subway, offering some much needed comfort. Just hold your husband. Relieved, I leaned in to whisper to Shelby, hoping not to disturb those around us. <laughs> if they didn't say anything, they fine. That's fair. That's a good method. <laughs> but just like the fact that I'm like and I'm like Oh my gosh. So more so worried about stepping on people's feet. Didn't even think about how I have hands. I hope the office is intact. This is a wild concept for this story. The way things are, let's just hope that everyone's safe. You're right, that's our primary concern. My mind filled with with visions of the hurricane ravaged our office our office over overnight. We on sweet or we on spicy? Hang on, my eyes are starting to water. I gotta rub my eyeballs. We're on spicy. Okay. It could be the seasonal allergies. Who knows? Could be so many things. But my eyes are watery. Which I might just need to get eye drops just to see if that helps. We'll see. We'll see. My mind filled with the vision of hurricane ravaging our office overnight. I hope the sign isn't broken. I hope my computer isn't broken. Uh, spicy. That's spicy. I hope my computer hasn't been affected by the power outages. It contains my schedule, clients' details, and member information I collected when I was an advisor. I'm worried that everything I had built up through my work would suddenly vanish. I couldn't bear the thought of losing years worth of hard work. So cool. We always back up everything with a high security server. Your data should be safe. That's pretty spicy. それに、たとえデータがなくなっても、お前が得た経験が消えるわけではないからな。You still retain the experience and knowledge. It's not a total loss, right? Spicy. So spicy. Wow, spicy. You're right, thank you. His words can confident and optimistic put my fears put my fears to rest. Sim Shelby was weathering many storms as the company president. His composure in this crisis reflected his depths as a person. We chatted about our various things until the train pulled into 7th Avenue. All right, we're going to save them. Watch me save, save, watch me load the next one. And then... And save that one. And then we load the last one. What a perfect system. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we get all the endings at once. Mm -hmm. oh God, I'm so excited for Alan's route. Hear me out. I miss him. I miss him that so much. I hope my sign isn't broken. Ah, oh, the company logo plate si sits atop a tall pole, doesn't it? I hope it hasn't been damaged. That's Built to last, but if anything has to be damaged, that'll be the first to go. Pole が倒れるということはないだろうが、看板プレートが吹き飛んでいるということはありえそうだ。We can't rule out the possibility that the sign might be even blown away. I hope it's intact. Seeing the sign during my commute motivates me to give my best every day. そうだったのか。Really. Yes, it serves as a daily reminder that I'm representing the company. It's because it became a routine. I'd be upset if it was damaged. So, it's a good thing. I want to see all of Alan's CGs so bad. I've been trucking through this. I've never heard you say that before. As a company owner, it pleases me to hear employees express such commitment.
if it is broken, I'll make sure it gets fixed immediately. The sign is the face of our company and it must remain undamaged. And as a response, Asia, yes, I want to see all of Alan's CGs. The only CGs I've seen is the one from the first chapter. So there's so much I need. If it's broken, I'll make sure it gets fixed immediately. That sign is the face of our company and it must remain undamaged, just like me. Great, thank you. Lego. We chatted about various things until the train pulled into 7th Avenue. Preparing ourselves, we stepped off the train and into the office only to find our worries had been unfounded. Huh? It seems like maybe your mom didn't want to ruin your job or your house, maybe. <laughs> Seems like our office weathered the storm. Just gotta report that all our employees are safe. Guess mom made sure to avoid this place. Even though the main street was littered with sticks and leaves, keep it corp remained unscathed. The signboard was intact and all the glass windows remained unbroken. So Maybe it's because you're here. Yeah. A hint of skepticism rang in his voice as he surveyed the surroundings. You're right, I don't see anything damaged. Nice. See, it seems to be fine. Looks like we dodged a blackout as well. Yeah, everything seems to be normal. With only a few employees delayed due to transport issues, it was business as usual at Cuban no. It really must be thanks to you. I'll call my mom and ask her. He muttered to himself one more time before he plunged into his day's work. While Lost Shark was dealing with the aftermath of the hurricane, I couldn't help but think about DMO Petides. The expansion project seemed to be continuing unabated, much to our dismay. This is disastrous. That expansion project could wipe out countless oysters. Apparently, he loves oysters now. That day, as usual, Raul showed up to deliver his mythology lecture to Shelby. However, he seemed unusually flustered. Oysters? What's the what are you talking about? The expansion project at DMR Pedigees is threatening the oysters. I was under the impression that you didn't like oysters, Raul. Of course, it's bad. It's a But it's different. That's true, I can't stand them, they're Satan's, but this is a different matter altogether. What do you mean, that oysters are dying because of the expansion project? The water earmarked for reclamation are rich in mines, marine life. There's a beautiful and resourceful laden coral reef there. If they proceed with land reclamation, it will alter the sea's currents, increase the water's temperature, and change the water quality. Maybe this is a gift, Asia. Maybe this is because you didn't say the word three times. Um, he's here complaining about oysters instead of someone else who'd be more excited to chat about oysters. And more knowledgeable about oysters as they are a writer. So it's kind of weird, but I'm fine with this. Oysters are sensitive to environmental changes. All the ones that were supposed to flourish will die. This is an environmental destruction. Well, I may view oysters as demonic beings, it's not right for humans to exterminate them so thoughtlessly. 
Is that what's happening? I can't stand by and allow environmental destructions in Lost York. 絶妙なバランスの上に生態系は成り立っているからな。間違いなく何かに影響が出るだろう。The natural ecosystem is a delicate balance. Any disruptions could have far-reaching effects. そうだよ。俺もさすがに反対だよ。サタンの逆襲はきっと恐ろしいだろうし。この間のハリケーン以上のことが起きるよ。Exactly. I can't allow it. If we continue down this path, we could face a disaster far worse than the hurricane. Raul seemed to be completely shaken up, but with what he was saying wasn't wrong. Dad, if Dad's temples was also buried, a crisis far worse than a hurricane would be certain. あ、そうだ。俺、ギルに相談してみるよ。ギルはオイスターが好きだし、相談に乗ってくれるかも。I said it because it's factual. It was a fact. I'll talk to Gil about this. He loves oysters and might have some ideas on how to handle this. ギルと仲良くなれたきっかけもオイスターなんだ。絶対に救ってみせる。Oysters are the foundation of our friendship, after all. I must save them. そうだな。ギルなら力になってくれるだろう。ライターとして影響力もあるしな。Yeah, I know. I even said that too. Good idea. Gil could be a great ally. He also has influence as a writer. うん。ごめんシェルビー。今日の神話講義はまた今度ね。You can talk to him, but he better not show his face. Uh. I apologize, Shelby. We'll have to postpone the mythology lecture. あ、わかった。大丈夫だ。Roll hastily for his leave. His departure left a vacuum, and I realized we couldn't remain idle. The wrath of the gods was a tricking time bomb. What do we do? Eli wouldn't halt his plans merely due to a hurricane, let alone attribute it to divine wrath, and he wouldn't even consider that the wrath of the gods was the cause. The gods had few believers these days. Even if Dad summoned a natural disaster, it wouldn't deter Eli. Dad loathed the discretion, desecration of his temples above all else. If a storm failed to deter them, he might resort to more drastic measures. 大丈夫か。Leah, are you alright? Shelby interrupted my spiraling thoughts by placing a hand on my shoulder. It was then that I realized I was shaking. Shelby, if Dad gets angry, Lost York could face a catastrophic disaster. He might even sink the entire Paradise Island and potentially Lost York too. The majority of people, especially those like Eli, wouldn't attribute this calamities to the gods. Consequently, there would be no halt to the plan. Environmentals, dis, degre, gosh, degradate, what a degradation would continue. Yeah, that's right. Environmental degradation would continue. With the oysters, would die out. Next, that could possibly provoke the wrath of Lord Poseidon, the god of the seas. We must act. I need to persuade Eli Omar to halt this. Oi, 落ち着け Leah, calm down. Um, this is the first time where you know what I think. Being passionate, it's not about needing to calm down. It's about having passion. She's passionate. It is a concern. She's bringing real concerns to your attention, and you're calling it overreaction. So you calm down, sir. Shelby grasped my shoulders and made eye contact to soothe. あの男には言っても無駄だ。There's nothing you can say to Eli Omar that will sway him. You don't know that. Let me ask him. What could I say to sway your mind? And maybe he'll answer me. 利益しか見ていないからな。耳を貸すわけがない。He's driven slowly by prophets and won't listen. Maybe we can't just stand by and do nothing. わかっている。だから私が交渉をしてこよう。I know that's why I will step in and negotiate. What? 安心しろ。絶対に計画を阻止してみせる。お前の両親の神殿の上に新しい施設など作らせはしない。Don't worry. I will halt their plans. I will not allow them to build new facilities on our, your parents' temple. Oh, ours would make it sound like you believe they're my parents. Despite his skepticism towards the gods, he was deeply serious about this issue, primarily because he saw the extent of my distress. 
実はずっとあの島を買い取る計画を私は進めていたんだ今度はこちらから勝負を仕掛ける I have been formulating a plan to buy the island for some time. Now it's time for me to take the offense. I'm sorry. Do you want to buy an island that was man made by DMO Pedides that has only existed for a short amount of time that has literally buildings and offices and shops and stores and a resort and a casino? Do you know how much money it costs to build a casino? Like a billion dollars. How much money do you have, sir? Huh? A plan to buy the island? I was aware that Shelby had been privately working on something, but this revelation was wholly unexpected. I had presumed that Shelby's secretive plan was merely to thwart Omar Holdings' attempt to seize Cupid Corp. It appeared that Shelby aimed not just to prevent the acquisition, but to gain an advantage over them. I promise I won't protect. I promised I would protect you, didn't I? His ice blue eyes glinted defiantly. Blue eyes. Fine. His expression was utterly fearless. These last two chapters have been hecka short. What the heck? Oh, God, something, something's gonna drop. Also, did I have a choice? I had a choice just then. The next day, Shelby secured a meeting and we headed to DMO Pedigees as the CEO and his secretary. We passed oblivious tourists who were enjoying the resort as we made our way to Mr. Omar's office. I don't remember a choice either. It said there was one. See, this game. Has choice checked on that one and on this one, and there were not choices in these two chapters. Lies. Lies. We at eight? We have to be, right? We have to be at eight by now. Okay, yeah. If we only have two more chapters, how is it possible? いやスネイル君よく来てくれたね。Hello, Snell. I'm glad you can make it. Mr. Omar was practically dripping with arrogance. Though much younger than Shelby, he's not that old. You need to simmer down, text. Much younger than Shelby, he started challenging. He stared challengingly as though he held the upper hand. それで今日はどんな話を聞かせてくれるんだいようやく売る気になってくれたかな What will it be today? Have you decided to sell your company? When phased by Mr. Omar's attitude, Shelby calmly presented a prepared document. 残念だが、君の望むような話ではない。今日は私の方から提案を持ってきた。On the contrary, I'm afraid I'm not what... I'm afraid it's not what you were hoping to hear. I brought my own proposal today. Damn. Itai nani o mottekitanokana. Nani o stemo imasara mudata to moga. A proposal? That might. That wouldn't make much difference at this point. Omar's tone was dismissive, but as he glanced at the document, his smug grin faded. This is. Ah, Shima no Baishu ni tsuite no teyan da. It's a proposal to buy this island. Kono na yo nara ba, monku wa nai haza. Sore tomo, nani ka fuman demo aru ka? You should have no objections to the terms, or is there something you don't like? Shelby, I love you. I do. I mean, this game is it's teetering. And I'm okay with you having issues with your body, which is fine. We're all people, right? Things happen. But did we earn this? Sudden, I'm gonna buy the island. Did we earn this? No, we did not. We did not earn this. This was not earned. 
You should have no objections to the terms, or is there something you don't like? Now it was Shelby's turn to glare defiantly at Mr. Omar awkwardly, as Mr. Omar awkwardly smiled, reading through the proposal. Shelby was not one to back down from a fight. He would crush anyone who dared to challenge him. Naruhodo, Watashiga Tejista Kinga Kara Konosu, Michibiki das Toane. So you derived this amount from the figures I previously proposed. Miruk Tekina Teon Janaika. Furanzu Honshanga Toksurioni Nate Irushi, Hatem Momi Komeru. An enticing proposal that does benefit our French headquarters and provides room for growth. この話に乗らない企業は確かにいないだろうね。よほど本気らしい。随分と我が社のことを調べたのだろう。no business would turn down such an offer. You seem to be rather serious. You must have researched my company well. Kimi Hodo dewa nai. Danga, Kimi no chosa wa amakatta ga na. Perhaps not as thoroughly as you researched mine. However, it seems you've made a few some errors in your investigations. Watashi no tsuma o riyou shite, watashi o yusaburou to shite ita you da ga. Ai niku kanojo wa sonna jousei dewa nai. I have a very spicy ending that says she is. You try to use my wife to provoke me, but Leah isn't that kind of woman. Don't underestimate her. His declaration was full of confidence. His trust in me filled me with happiness. Sure. <laughs> I admit I may have underestimated her. There has hasn't been a woman who hasn't succumbed to my invitations before. Shojiki,驚いているよ。もっとキューピットコーポレーションの買収は簡単に済むと思っていたからね。I'm honestly taken aback. I thought acquiring Cupid Corp would be a walk, big walk.残念だが、買収も結婚相談所の運営もそう簡単な話ではない。But also. Hear me out. Um, cakewalks aren't necessarily easy, right? Yes, it's a giant circle and it has a bunch of numbers on it. And when they say stop, you stop. And if they say your number, you get a cake. But that doesn't guarantee you get a cake. I've done many a cakewalk where I have not left with a cake. So, <laughs> not a guarantee. It's more of a gamble, really. It's gambling, but for cake or pie. Typically, it's pie. Our cakewalks used to be pie. But it's called a cakewalk, so. Aw oh, man, cakewalks. I miss cakewalks. I haven't been to a cakewalk since I was like a kid. Regrettably, this isn't what you were hoping to hear. I've brought my own proposal today. You may have lured some of my employees away, but your strategy was careless. At present, the revenue from DMO Paradis is offsetting the de the deficit of of Omar wedding. What deficit? Deficit. Deficit. I did it. I did it by myself. I didn't know how he researched it, but Shelby took out the financial report of Omar wedding. I had no idea. It was true that maintaining their level of services would be a challenge. They must have enticing Cupid have enticed Cupid Corp staff who were otherwise content with a happy sum. But Mr. Omar was still in the red despite that. All businesses experience this phase initially. It's all part of the plan. Can you genuinely claim it's part of the plan if you're losing ground level employees? <laughs> Losing ground level employees. I was surprised at hearing this new revolution, prompting Shelby to continue. So Teo Uamaru Akajino said, Gemba no Ningen no Kuyo Sagazaru Enakata Yoda. Okaga de Scoshizutsudaga, Uchini Modo Tiki. Due to a higher deficit than anticipated, you were forced to cut their pay. Consequently, some have returned to our company. Really? Ah. Yes. 
Everyone's working diligently at Cupid Corp now. It's as if they had woken up from a bad dream. So, there was Kimi Ga Koyo Kakete Irukaradaro. Shacho Jiki Jiki, Gokuro na Kotoda. So, na Hishina Sugata o Mirare Rutoane. It seems you directly persuaded them. How does a president find the time? You must be desperate. So, there was Kimi Ga Koyo Kakete Irukaradaro. Would I be a worthy president if I didn't at least do that? A business is nothing without its employees. No matter how convincingly you spin your tells, no one will follow you without sincerity. Perhaps in your country things may be different, but Lost York is far more unforgiving a place. Tashkani. Omar Holdings no Naga Hiroku Hibikiwata Tiru France de no Yari Katanga. Koko de Watsuyo Shinai no Arika Ishta. I'm well aware that the works in France, due to the fame of Omar Holdings, may not be as effective in Lost York. Dakara to it. Kono Mama Kimi no Tean ni Noru no Ashakudana. ね、But that doesn't mean I will easily agree to your proposal, no matter how beneficial it might be. Mr. Omar smacked the papers away dismissively and stood. Well, if this proposal is accepted, I'm sorry, I'm rejecting your proposal. Agreeing to it so readily would diminish the reputation of the Omar family. And as a man, you should understand there are times when retreating is not an option. I still wish to deal with you further. I'm not ready to admit defeat. You seem to have an inflated sense of pride. Pride is the highest level of pride. That goes for us both. If you were to send the CC to the first time, you would have to pay for your time to pay for your time to pay for your time. Had you sold Cupid Corp to me initially, you could have spent more time with her. If I had to say that you were to pay for your time, No mistake to not withdraw when I rejected that. <laughs> This is tense. She's like over here, like eating popcorn. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Shelby and Mr. Omar appeared completely at odds, fighting like cats and dogs. Oil and water don't mix. Ah, uh, popping in just for this. Ah,、uh, thank you, Prim. Thank you for keeping me alive. Okay, bye. Have fun doing what you're doing. I'm not sure what it is today. Those were the phrases that came to mind. The rivalry was not unexpected given that they were from com competing businesses, but their contrasting personalities added to hostility. Their principles, objectives, and strategies were diametrically opposite. <laughs> Watching a movie? Which movie? I understand now. Speaking of movies, I recently watched The Boy Part 2 and was very disappointed because I thought it was going to be a continuation of The Boy Part 1, which in theory it is, but they tried to rewrite the entire Boy Part 1 in the second one, and so I hated it. Blue Lock. Have I seen that one? Hang on. Let's see. I'm going to Google it. <gasps> oh, yes, I know what that is. Okay, cool. It's going to in an hour, but we got to eat first. That's fair. Well, that's good. I hope you enjoy your time with your friends and or families and have delicious snackies and enjoy the movie. Have fun. Bye, bye, bye. There will. I understand now there will never be a day when we can come to an agreement. 
I'm in agreement with you on that. <gasps> can we agree that we can't agree? And he's like, we can. No matter the price, so you will never sell Cupid Corporation, correct? Absolutely, the same applies to you too, right? Our negotiations will perpetually be at a deadlock. So, you go to the Sherby Ku. How about we have a little show of Suruto, you know, a dog? Show of a match. Ah, do say what I shimo Kimimo. Dore the Keno Joken or Tejis Temo Sasoini Noriwa Shinai. Given that neither of us will ever give to the other person's turn. Danga. いつも始めた事業をすぐに畳むほど、オマールホールディングスは弱腰じゃない。当分は今のまま運営していくつもりだ。Isn't We'll be vexing for customers and employees. I don't suppose you want both of us to weaken in this way. Meronda. Danga, what I shall make it some more than I. Of course not, but I have no intention of losing. Ah, so that all day. Danga Omar. Each do cry to eat a mono yasias to Nogas Tariwa Shinai. Understood. The Omar family isn't one to let go of its prey easily. Omar got shot. Joy suffering. Wait, I missed that just now. I'm gonna stop. 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 An Omar is only defeated when devoured. We won't self-destruct. That's funny because he's actually turns into a lobster. So. Daga. However, dragging this out would be time-consuming. だから、カジノで勝敗をつけるんだ。このダムールパラディ島と君の大切なものをかけてね。He's talking like a fox. Okay, we'll settle things at the casino. I'll wager DM what pet it is, and you'll wager what you value most, and that is your wife. カジノで勝機か? At the casino? Are you serious? 勝機さ。我々の大切なものをかけて。I'm entirely serious. Will you bet what you treasure most at the casino? Note how he continues not to say Cupid Corporation. He wants your wife. He wants your wife. He wants your wife. If I win, I'll take what you cherish. If you win, you take this island. Simple, right? I'm sure you want this issue resolved sooner rather than later. What did you what do you say? The island, the Amorpedides, was where we had enjoyed our honeymoon. I had an idea of its asset value from what Shelby had been discussing earlier, but waging the island was an immense risk for the Omar family. You must be exceedingly confident. Are you not? Omar taunted him. This is a reasonable condition for you. Well, if you want to win this fight, you can win it. I'm just going to win it. In fact, these terms favor you. If you still turn tail and run from this match, I'd simply deem you unworthy. High risk, high return. Business no kihon daro. It's high risk, high reward. Isn't that the essence of business? Hmm. Ii daro. Shoubu ni notte yaru. I'll accept your challenge. It was obviously bait, but Shelby took the challenge. Sugu ni. You will soon regret underestimating me. I expect no less from you, Shelby. Shelby. Deva Shobu wa asu. Kono Damur Paradi no Kajino de Okonautoshio. Jikan wa Jushi de Ikana. 
The match will be held tomorrow here at the Diemo Petides Casino. Let's see, set it for 5 p.m. Kamawanai. Agreed. Then it's settled. To my surprise, the match was arranged with ease. Before I could fully comprehend the situation, Mr. Omar retrieved a recording device from his pocket with a smug grin. I recorded our conversation. There's no backing out now. So you planned this all along. This is how we operate. Omar Holdings always gets what we want. Is he a fae? Only fae's do this. He didn't say, I will challenge you for Cupid Corpse. He said, for what you love the most, for what you desire the most. Omar Holding, a long-established company of France, it's no bluff that we've done business in many industries for years. Mr. Omar assigned to Las York as Vice President of Omar Holding confirmed his abilities. His mission was not only to absorb Cubicorp, but also to venture into other Las York businesses. I'll see you tomorrow, and I shall look forward to acquiring you, Leah. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? She has nothing to do with the wager. Weren't you listening? I said I'd bet Diamo Pedadi's island against what you cherish the most. Are you implying that you have value only Cupid Corp and not her? <laughs> That's unfair. It's a low blow to bring this up now. Unfair. Did you genuinely believe that Cupid Corp alone was equivalent to the value of this island? Shelby isn't that fucking stupid. This, these, oh, sorry, I got the, I put fucking in the wrong word. Shelby isn't that stupid. These fucking writers. Yeah. I'm sitting there going like, um, he's not saying keep a corp. He says what you value. What you value is not the same thing. <sighs> also, verbal agreements are nothing. They're not legally binding, just to be clear. There's a significant gap in asset values between DMO Petades and Cupid Corp. It wouldn't be a balanced exchange. Also, you can't... I'm sorry. Are we not familiar with human trafficking? That's illegal. You cannot wager a literal living being. Just saying it right now. It's also not okay. That is why she is part of the wager. I desire you, Leah. But why? Because I'm attracted to you. Isn't that reason enough? I don't know. I watched Swan Princess and she said it wasn't enough. Mr. Omar's expression suggested he wasn't entirely serious. As a former Cupid, there, what he was feeling was far from romance or loving. I'm not even paying attention. I wish I didn't. I have no choice. I'm reading it. It seems like he was just trying to provoke Shelby. Kimigatebachinakateba. I'm just getting so deaf fucking damn pressure at this writing. Same. Like, I was telling my sister how annoyed this game made me uh, the last time we played it, and she was like, why don't you just stop playing it? And I'm like, no. I have to see it through, but if they make a third Cupid Parasite, I'm not playing it. Not after this. They they totally drowned this game. If you win, the island's yours. If I win, you'll lose everything you hold dear. It's quite an exhilarating game, isn't it? Shelby. 
君はさっき勝負に乗ると言ったそれとも今更尻尾を巻いて逃げるかい Asia's out here just adding to her、uh, super long list of games. It's at 163 right now. Now it's at 164. A man never re renegade, renegades on his word, right? Shelby, you agreed to the match. Are you considering backing out now? <laughs> Shelby, look conflicted. His health, the conditions were unreasonable. Yet backing out would signify a lack of confidence in a duel being. Turning one's back meant we were easier to stab in the back. I should have kept watching police body cams. At least there is justice.、Mm, sometimes. <laughs> Although, when I, was,、uh, when I was a young warthog, I used to watch this show called Cops. And like, it had a theme song. It was like, bad boys, bad boys. Watch, and everybody's drunk all the time in those, and sometimes they have to run. I watched YouTubers play into Tome games that I already played. <laughs> nice. That's fair. Honestly, that's probably what I should do. I, see, the thing is, I want to experience, which is why I start streaming it. Because that way I'll make myself play my games. But it's hard for me to watch other people play because I don't want to see. I don't want to spoil it. But I also I, I want to I I hear people's reactions. I want to know how they're seeing it. If anybody plays this game, I want to hear. From the person who played this game and gave it a 10 out of a 10. And I was like, this is my favorite cube. I want to talk to that person. I just want to talk to that person. I just want to talk to that person. I just want to know. Like, what? I'm also watching your VOD of you starting Leanne's route. Honestly, when you did that, I, I think I edited in there so, because I literally said I'd rather be playing Radiant Tell before you even did that. So you're like, I'm gonna do it. I'm like, do it. Like, just do it. I'd rather be playing Leanne right now. <sighs> I smiled reassuringly at him. I'll be fine, Shelby. I believe in you. <laughs> What do you mean? I trust you. You won't let him lay a finger on me. I believe that you'll win. Everything will be all right, my guy. <sighs> Shelby looked at me, mixed emotions clouding his gaze, but a few seconds later, he seemed to have made up his mind. With his arm around my shoulder, he locked eyes with Mr. Omar. You're fucking on. <laughs> Very well. The match plays taste tomorrow, but you cannot have Leah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> We'll see about that. <clears throat> It was like watching a standoff between two divine bees. <laughs> Sparks seeming to fly between Mr. Omar and Shelby. Shelby then guided me away, his arm still protectively around my shoulders. I'll take my leave now. Very well. I'm looking forward to you. Ah, it's fine, I didn't hear you. Master Omar offered a composed smile as he dangled a room key in his hand. No thanks. We can just stay the night, bro. It's fine. Baby, it's okay. It's a free room. Like they have amenities. We've had sex in two of these rooms already. Why not a third? I'm gonna be rude if anyone gives this dog shit a 10 10. Y'all got bad taste. I'm so sorry to have to be the one to tell you, basically. Uh, yeah. I just got an. I want to know. I want. I need your genuine opinion if you thought this was the best Cupid Paris. Like, if you're like, what? A great fan disc. No, thank you. Shelby stared at him icily. I'm just saying. It's a free room, bro. Let's travel. We departed DMO Pedides and made our way home. <laughs> Shelby's silence continued as he drove. He didn't appear angry, rather, he seemed to be reflecting on his actions, his expression unreadable. Soon, we pulled into our home garage. But Shelby didn't get out of the car, he hung his head low for some reason. Talk to him, wait for him to talk. Alright, l we're, we're on spicy right now, I think. Just kidding, we're on sweet, like I said. <laughs> 
La there you are, lurking. I also need to learn how to say your name right. I say it wrong every time. I'm like, Lor. Lar. All right, we're on sweet. What sounds sweet? Talk to him. It's sweet to talk to the person you love. It's spicy to ignore them. I forgot to mention something. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We're home. What's the matter, my guy? Yeah. Oh, good. He's big. Is going to remove my camera. I fucking hate this game. Do you? Why? What's wrong? Honestly, this one's mild. I just think at this point, I'm desensitized. It's just, I apologize for what happened. I just keep wondering if there was a better way I could have handled that situation. What else could you have done? As far as I can see, we're at a standstill. Perhaps, but when he suggested you would be part of the wager, I should have negotiated better. Actually, um, actually, this is my yes and, um, actually, you could not negotiate better because that was always his plan. Eli Omar turns into a crustacean when he eats crustaceans. He's actually a fey monster. He tricked you with a tongue tie, and you, having no experience with fey beast, did not know what to listen for because when they say things like can i have and then it sounds innocent your name they mean literally your name okay never give a fae your name never give a fae your attention never give a fae a minute of your time don't do it They're, it's a trap perhaps but when he suggested you would be part of the wager i should have negotiated better yeah <laughs> Or maybe I should have given up the company. Imagine if he had. If you had given up the company, this entire game could have just been us smashing everywhere. Shelby, Cupid Corp is important to me too. It's not just your problem anymore. I did it. Talking is sweet. I was right. But... I can't help but feel responsible. It must be unsettling for you the way I accepted the challenge. I think he said what he did just to provoke you, Shelby. I really don't mind. But... And let's not forget that I, if I'm part of this wager, it only means you'll push yourself even harder, right? Absolutely. I will never let anyone take you. Although he responded confidently, his tone was tense. The thought of him striving harder because of me was oddly comforting, and despite its ethical complications, I knew Shelby would fight to the end, and even if he lost, he would find a way to save me. That was just how Shelby was, and that gave me a sense of security. After you finish the game, we should have a long discussion about the game and what do you want to change in this game. <sighs> Honestly, we could. Um, next week I have a collab stream, so maybe that day we could do a discussion. Although I don't know if I'll finish Alan on Friday or not. I plan on starting Alan Friday, um, when I get home from work. After I've packed. Um, change the writer and director. Yeah, change that first. Uh, maybe poll some people, ask some people what they would have done differently first. Um... <laughs> What do you want to see in a, in a Cupid Parasite sequel? Oh, you know what? A talking lobster. That's it. Don't worry about me, Shelby. I trust you. Oh my. Leah. And besides, Mr. Omar doesn't even like me. I joked in an attempt to lighten the mood. <laughs> okay. Car sex? I guess that's an option. Car sex is an option. You can have car sex. That is a real thing. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. It's crazy how it's the same writers for the first game. Honestly, it's like 
they took like a one of those wheels that went like what should happen and they just like spun it really fast and then it didn't matter what it landed on they just went with it so like when we gonna get an mc who isn't naive i wish i could answer that question for you but they make most of our MCs young, or in this case, she's she's mythology, so she's dense for a reason. They make a lot of bad choices. Honestly, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think if I've ever had an MC where I was like, oh, they realize things. They're 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 on the top of their game. But I really haven't ever. <laughs> It's kind of sad when you think about it. Like, give me a smart one. Give me a Mulan. I need a Mulan. <laughs> give me a Mirada. A heavy silence fell upon us, interrupted only by the ticking of Shelby's wristwatch. I'm pretty certain this is about the match with Mr. Omar. Does he regret involving me in the bet? Maybe Jakuno Lila? To Google this. Anytime we have these names and I have not, it takes me three weeks to memorize all the characters' names. I haven't played that one yet. But I've seen it, and I like vampires. I really do want to play that one. He looked like he wanted to say something, but he couldn't find the words. I wonder if he'd feel better if I told him it doesn't bother me. Oh my. Leah. Shelby called out to me with a weak voice to stop him from saying anything that would hurt himself. I decided to talk instead. It's okay. Mr. Omar isn't interested in me at all. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. And I am too. That's not true. That may be true, but that's why your decision back then wasn't a mistake, Shelby. It was actually the best thing to do. And don't forget, Cupid Corp is important to me as well. It's not just your burden to bear. I'm here to shoulder it with you. We're la married. If you go bankrupt, I go bankrupt. We're in this together. I said out of all my thoughts, hoping to give him some relief, Shelby seemed to relax a bit and let out a sigh. Oh my. Arigato. Leah, thank you. And let's not forget that if I'm part of this wager, it means you're going to work harder, right? Shelby gently pulled me closer. His lips met mine in a fervent kiss. He reached over and unbuckled my seatbelt with one hand, pulling me on into a close embrace. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be okay. It, what is he on? <laughs> Just the thought of him taking you away from me is enough to drive me mad. But if that ever happened, I could run away. Just the fact that this is a wager. Like, this is a, wa this is a human being. As she said, she can run away. She really can't be wagered. What are they going to say? Your wife ran away? Your captive ran away? Like, what is this? This won't work against someone like Eli Omar. Besides, I don't even want him sharing the same space as you. Really? Not much. Is that why the MC is voiceless? Interesting. Of course, I don't want him to lay a single finger on you. Your voice is for my ears only. His jealousy flared in this rare moment, and he sealed it with an intense kiss. We were still in the car, parked in the garage, not yet inside our house. The kiss was overpowering, and I pushed him back, but he pulled me back in, holding me even tighter. <laughs> I 
Of course, I don't intend to lose to him, but just the thought of it is driving me crazy. Dakara, manga one nado to yu na. Don't even imply that. I'm not gonna lose. 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 I'm
Leah, I will protect you. Please, stand by my side. I mumbled to her sleeping form, gently kissing her forehead. This was the further, the future I had worked so hard to attain with her, and I wasn't about to lose it over a gamble. I knew Eli Omar might resort to less than fair practices in tomorrow's match. I had to face him in peak condition. I lied back down in bed to sleep and hugged Aaliyah gently as, I, as to not wake her. Her softness under my touch filled my heart with love, and I couldn't bear the thought of letting her be any further away than an arm's length. And yet, I wasn't even sleeping in the same bed as hers for a while. That's how much I love her, like, bro. There's a chance we're not going to make it to the end, guys. We're trying, we're trucking, but we're at chapter 14, and I have, like, an hour and 20 minutes to go before I have to go. That day of the match between Eli and Omar shall be eventually arrived. Oh, okay. Of the match. Okay. The day of the match between Eli Omar and Shelby eventually arrived. I just read a Shelby eventually arrived and I was like, wait, why? There are so many people. To my surprise, there was a massive crowd inside the casino. Even the media had shown up. Yeah, Glad you could make it. What's the meaning of this? ロサン I don't mind. After all, I have no intention of losing. So <laughs> done. So no, Tsuyokina Taido got it. Some of I just want to know which one we're on, by the way, so I know my next, my last option. Spicy. We're going to do spicy first. What does she want to know? Very well. I'm eager to see how long you can maintain that bold attitude. Their, their aggressive exchange caused a surge of excitement, starting their crowd into a cheering frenzy. Oh! A showdown between the youthful Vice President Omar and the dedicated family man President Shelby. What a scoop. Photographs competed. Oh god. Photographers. Photographers. Photographers competed to capture images of the two adversaries glaring at each other. This was perfect fodder for the press. Shelby put on a fancier suit than usual for this, and she's just wearing her work clothes. Wait for me over at that seat over there. I look forward to speaking with you after this. <laughs> <clears throat> To prevent Mr. Omar from getting any closer to me, Shelby positioned himself between us and turned to me. For now, it's best to stay out of this man's reach. Please wait for me at those seats. I understand, Shelby. You have my support. Oh. Yes. We held each other's gaze, our fingers intertwining, but we refrained from kissing. Part of it was because people were watching, but in truth, I trusted him even if he didn't kiss. The same goes for Shelby. A simple glance was enough to convey our thoughts, smiling, we parted ways. I did as Shelby suggested and took a seat with what appeared to be a VIP area. After confirming that I sat down, Mr. Omar opened his arms with a satisfied smile. Heads up, poker, they eat. Let us begin. This is a duel, after all. Shall we play heads up poker? Ah, oh, come on. I sure, I don't mind. Heads up poker, a poker variant designed for one on one gameplay, isn't as straightforward as regular poker. I remember hearing about its unique sets of rules. However, Mr. Omar and Shelby's expressions remained unchanged. 
They received an equal number of casino chips and seated at, seated, settled at the table, awaiting the dealer's shuffle. As the match was about to commence, the media began snapping photos of the fancy and flash. Mr. Omar said he was the one that gathered the media here, but does that mean they're privy to the match details? This wager involved the fate of the island, Cupid Corp, and me. Were they aware of all of that? Good luck to you, Casino Game! The two presidents duel a high-stakes match with their companies on the line. Intrigued, I checked social media for any leaked information, but found none. Perhaps the found none? I'm reading it. Perhaps the media would withhold their reports until the match outcome was determined. Or maybe they were just blissfully unaware of the stakes. There was excitement seemed to stem from the contest, contest economic implications given the roles both men played in Lost Works economy. Please. Raise. Cool. Cool. The game proceeded without significant incidents. With chips being exchanged in small amounts, it appeared their poker skills were evenly matched. Despite their stark differences, Mr. Omar and Shelby shared a similarity that in intensified the confrontation. Mr. Omar invited the media. He must be confident in his victory. But Shelby is also SS. As I watched, knowing the challenge would not be easily surmountable, I nodded as somebody nervously approached me. Oh, no, the match already started. Owen. Miller. <laughs> Miss Mirror, I mean Mrs. Snell, when did the match begin? It started just now, but what's the matter? I saw the vice president prepare a trick to cheat. What? Cheat? Hearing the words from Owen made me go pell. Cheating? Are you suggesting the dealer is part of this? Yeah. No, the dealer is, is likely innocent. Mr. Omar doesn't trust anyone, so he would handle this cheating scheme on his own. マークドデックと呼ばれる床様です。カードの背面の図柄に自分だけわかるように印をつけていたんです。We're um, currently, we finished Leanne's route for Radiant Tell, so we switched back to Cupid Corpse. Disappointed and dissatisfied. Aw, Blue, look at you. You are using that dictionary well. Uh, <gasps> I bought chicken fajita tacos, dude. I was craving, like, a, a taco shell. So that's beautiful. Leanne's route was so good, yeah. He's using what's known as a marked deck, the cards that have symbols on the back that only he can decipher. So Mr. Omar can identify the hand just by observing the back of the cards. Yes, that's right. Watch the VOD yesterday, I need to catch up to this after the stream. Yeah, we liked it a lot. Leanne's route was so cute. And then we also got Alice's ending too before we switched games. So now it's just the old boys for the rest of it. Completing a hand in head and he head up poker is challenging enough. I'm certain he's introduced this trick. He's probably observing President Shelby's hand, waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Oh no, I had to inform Shelby quickly if he was unaware of the deceits he was bound to lose. だから、勝負が始まる前にシェルビー社長にお伝えしようと思ってたんですが、急に仕事を押し付けられて… I wanted to warn President Shelby because this was an urgent matter, but before the match began, I was unexpectedly loaded with the task complete, even though the match started at a specific time, and I somehow just didn't think about it, I guess. Owen seemed genuinely concerned for Shelby. After leaving Cupid Corp, he had joined Omar Holding. 
When he was caught attempting to undermine Cubic Corp, he had expressed remorse and a desire to make amends. He secretly told me this when Shelby was on DMW Pedidee's island. Perhaps Owen is still on Shelby's side? I couldn't discern his true intentions, but seeing Owen's sincere concern, I felt my trust in him begin to restore. Sorry. What if this is the long con? What if Owen's lying? What if Owen's like, I know he won't trust me. Can you tell him? Please? Because he'll believe you and then you'd find out it's not true. I apologize. Shelby won't take my word. Could you tell him? How could I? I didn't believe this was a trap, so I agreed. Shelby needed to know. This is sweet or spicy. I need spice. Alright guys, we're about to see what an enemy might look like. Oh god. Uh, I understand. Owen, you tell him. I understand. I understand? Ah, oh, it's sweet. Oh, and you need to tell him. If I leave my seat, it may disturb the game. You're right, but if I intervene... Don't worry, President Shelby will understand he trusts you. Spicy. Trust is so spicy. Shelby had expressed a desire for Owen to rejoin Cupid Corp. Their time working together hadn't been in vain. Reassured by my words, determination filled Owen's eyes. However, just as he turned to leave, I understand that I'll go and. Owen Harriet, we have evidence of your betrayal to Mr. Omar. Uh oh. Ah. What? Evidence. Evidence.そこに。いくつかの情報を CCに流していただろう。これまでは寛大な処置をされていたようだが。You've been leaking information to Cupid Corp. You've been lenient until now, but interrupting this match and you'll face the consequences. Security guards were that were waiting in the wings quickly overpowered Owen. The supposed leak must have referred to Owen's visit to my office. Mr. Omar had known that Owen was wa acting in Shelby's interest. Owen must have intent indeed seen Mr. Omar cheat. Had Mr. Omar assigned extra work to delay Owen? Shelby, Shelby, Please protect President Shelby. Ah, President Shelby! Owen's plea echoed through the room as he was dragged away. Now's my chance. Capitalizing on the moment, momentary weakened security, I tried to reach Shelby, but... Excuse me, ma'am. Please remain here. And she's like, fuck off. And she goes. You're actions are the match. Mr. Omar has ordered you to stay put, Mrs. Snell. Okay, but I'm a human being. Why are we acting like he? they have any control over me? This is the labyrinth, bro. You have no power over me. Go. More security? I was unsure where they'd came from, but additional guards appeared to block my path. The poker match was reaching its climax. I needed to hurry before Shelby lost due to Mr. Omar cheating. Despite my best efforts to free myself, I was restrained. Cupid Corp was on the brink of destruction and our marriage was at stake. If Shelby lost and I had to be with Mr. Omar, I hoped you'd be able to negotiate with him. But such reasoning wouldn't work with someone willing to cheat in a match like this. Mr. Omar had even recorded the conversation to pressure Shelby. If Shelby lost, it truly would sep be separated from him. I don't want that. Let me go. <laughs> I kicked out in a desperate attempt to escape, managing to connect squarely with the security guard's groin. I mentally apologized as he doubled over in pain, but since it was an emergency, I sprinted to Shelby. I was too late. All in.
At Shelby's words, murmurs rippled through the casino. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I'm a late tater. Aw, it's okay, Muma. <laughs> From where I stood, I couldn't see Shelby's hand, but Omar's confidence was an indicator that Shelby wasn't holding a winning hand. Then why is he all in? I didn't make it. I was so close. Are you sure about this? Yes, no problem. <laughs> Wearing an ascot, what do you expect? You tried to bluff your way through with a weak hand. But I bought that skill. I'll give it to you. You've got guts. Bluffing is essential part of heads-up poker. Let's reveal the results. Mr. Omar composure was rock solid. He was certain of his victory. Every chip in the casino had been wagered on this game. As Shelby lost, it was the end of everything, and then the match concluded. Their hands were laid out on the table. Fear gripped me, and I kept my eyes shut, unable to face the results. However, Shelby's voice pierced through the silence, compelling me to open my eyes. Royal Straight Flush. It's a Royal Straight Flush. Huh? Yes. On the table was the strongest hand in poker. Seeing this, Mr. Omar's composure man. No. Uh, uh, I... What? Oi! Royal Straight Flush! It's a Royal Straight Flush! Does this mean Mr. Snell has won? Sonna. Impossible. There's no way it's a straight royal flush. It should be a different hand. It should be a different hand. Are you suggesting you can read the cards without seeing them? I miss Leanne. He deserves so much more. Not exactly. Don't play dumb with me. I know you cheated. Cheated? The famous Mr. Omar cheated? A baseless accusation. I would never do such a thing. I don't know if I thought about it. I You think I didn't realize it? You put a trick on these cards. Shelby held up a card to show the card. This card is one of the cards that he put on the card. He put a trick on the card. He prepared these cards beforehand. The back of the cards all have specific marks that tell him what card it is. This is almost anti-climatic. I noticed right away that he was using these marks to play this game of poker, so I went along with it initially. So I went along with it initially. I went along with it initially. I went along with it initially. Fucking writers must feel themselves thinking they're writing a masterpiece. They're like, I watch Casino Royale, watch this. He was so focused on the marks that he was blinded by the actual marks. So I was so focused on the marks that he was blinded by the actual marks. So I was so focused on the marks that he was blinded by the actual marks. So I was so focused on the marks that he was blinded by the actual marks. Marked decks are a common form of cheating, so I bought a chemical that or can erase the ink used for these marks. After saying that, Shelby wiped his hand, his fingers with a handkerchief. 
He had been applying that chemical to his fingers to remove the marks during the game. Hang on. Hang on. If this is poker, how many of us have, have been to a casino, right? If this is poker and they're playing a game, there's like five decks of cards in this thing. They are not reusing the cards again and again. So how does he removing the marks? Unless he's just removing them right then, which I don't think you can do so subtly, especially if this is face down. You're not supposed to put your hands on your cards. What are you trying to tell me happened here? Because they're not reshuffling the deck every time. There's like five decks in a dispenser that you just pull from. They don't know how to play poker. Yeah, this is, I don't even understand. I, I didn't know you could do such a thing. I didn't know he would come prepared to do such a thing. Casino SS. I don't know how to play poker, apparently. Not by casino rules, anyways. I don't know how it works, honestly. Jesus Christ, they really sound like a Wattpad team wrote this, to be honest. Yeah. Basically, I don't understand. If it's face down, they would not let you reach your hand out and touch your card. So there's no way he's wiping it down off marks off the back of cards. And if he's got a hand, then they, the cards are still getting laid out first. And I just don't. How is he doing it so subtly? Even in Casino, I am SS. What is he, though? He was excellent at everything. Not only had he won the match, but he had also uncovered the cheating and neutralized it. My husband was, as always, perfect. <laughs> I would argue that. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Hee haha. Mr. Omar laughed, a self deprecating note in his voice, hand resting on his forehead. Katerito,思っていたんだから.こんな手段を使っている時点で. <sighs> <sighs> I I I could could the but the moment I decided to cheat, I had already lost. Ah, this is a bad thing. They lost me when they explained how the casino worked on this route. Like, it was more fun because it was less risk. Yeah. Well, they lost me with that because we had already done Miraness's route and he won $2 million at the casino. So if it was easier to win, that doesn't even. The only way it would make sense is if they're saying that the casino's slot machines pay out more. Like I have lost $100, not in a single day, but playing slot machines. Like a 20, I'll put a 20 in and then I don't end up with 20 when I leave. You know what I mean? So like they got $20 from me. They should have watched Kakegure. Or maybe they did and they were trying to emulate it. I thought I could win this, but the moment I decided to cheat, I'd lost. It is a mission of defeat triggered a ripple of murmurs in the crowd. Shelby had won. You did it, Shelby! And then we high five and everybody clapped. And everyone was so proud of us. And everyone said, You did the best, Shelby. Running up to him with joy and ignoring the cameras clicking around us, I hugged him tight. Oh my. oh my god, whoa, uh, my wife. Oh, it's Mrs. Snail. Oh, <laughs> I was invited to a casino trip this weekend. I'm thinking about it, but I don't like spending money. That's fair. I would say give yourself a certain amount of money that you're willing to spend and only spend that. It's usually no more than $50 for me. I will never spend more than $50. Like if you're enjoying yourself, it's fine if you're losing money. But there's been a couple, like if we're doing slot machines specifically, there's been a couple slot machines where like I just lose every single time and a single play is like a dollar. So $20 is like 10 seconds at that point. It's a bit wild. Um, I used to have more fun playing blackjack uh, because at least it's slow and you're you're win about half the time. I think the most I've ever won at a casino is three thousand dollars. I don't know if I've ever been up at the end of my time. I just I just don't spend a lot to begin with. But maybe if I was spending more, I'd win more. Who knows? Actually, that's a lie. I've won about thirty dollars. I've come up about thirty bucks. 
after. I've done a roulette and I just put it on black or red and I said that's my only thing and I doubled my money and that was it. It's the power of love from the devoted husband president. This is, will make a fantastic scoop. I was aware of the flurry of activity, but I remained glued to Shelby, my joy making it impossible to let go. I continued to clutch him tightly until I heard a gentle scoff from above. Oi. <laughs> Leah, calm down, first off. But I'm just so happy. When Owen informed me about the cheating, I had gone as pale as a sheet as if all the blood had drained from my face. I panicked thinking Shelby might lose, but he didn't. He had made extensive preparations before this match. <laughs> me too. Now I don't have to watch you be taken away by anyone. Oh, they keep doing this. Give me another CG. I love you. Give us a CG of the kiss, bro. Shelby disregarded the many eyes upon us, pulled me into a tender kiss, a cheer erupted around us. And everybody clapped. Oh, Korea, yeah. This is so heartwarming. Yeah. He truly is a devoted husband. Oh, this is painful with how cheesy. Uh. <laughs> President Shelby sure is something else. Can we? Can he? He fuck now? <laughs> yeah, he can. Actually, he missed that. He did. He ate a. He ate a turtle. He can fuck now. That happened, I think, right after you left. Take a shot every time we don't get a CG when there's an intimate moment. <laughs> We'd be at four. They kiss like three times and it just did like a white screen on us. The voice belonged to Mr. Omar, who stood up and walked away, leaving us basking in our victory. With Shelby triumphed and the threat of Cupid Corp's acquisition vanished. And we continued on with our merry life. We did it. Spicy ending, bros. Get ready. We're there. Spicy. All right, guys. This is spicy. You know what that means. <sighs> Several days after winning the gamble with Mr. Omar. Please proceed as things are. Thank you for your generosity, President Mr. Omar and Shelby shook hands. So much had happened. Then. Using the mass media coverage of the gambling outcome, Shelby secured a beneficial business partner with Eli Omar. Instead of pursuing short-term benefits of owning the island, he delegated operations to Omar Holding while planning for further future profits. Shelby lacked the expertise to run amusement facilities like the Omar Paradise Island, so he retained ownership of a significant amount of the company's stock and left the operations to them. Both Shelby didn't stop, but Shelby didn't stop at a simple business partnership. Cupid Corpse number two. The partnership was only a bonus to acquiring what he needed, Omar Wedding. The allowing, that allowed him to establish the second branch of Cupid Corpse on the island and staff it with Omar Wedding employees. It was a business partnership where help, Shelby held a disadvantage. Everything proceeded smoothly, even Eli seemed to have significantly mellowed out. It was like a predator that had lost its fangs. The expansion project is cancelled. We'll restore the ocean to its original state. Understood, I'll take my leave now. Mr. Omar bowed respectfully to Shelby before exiting. After watching him leave, I approached Shelby. Are you sure about this? I think you'd do well running the island. <laughs> you overestimate me. Even if I owed the island, I wouldn't be able to operate it. フランス老舗企業のオマールホールディングスの後ろ盾を失うのは。Losing the back end of Omar holding would be a big loss. Mr. Omar 
それに妻との時間も必要だろお前と一緒に身の丈に合った形でこれから生きていきたいそのための決断だそれに元はといえば買収を退け埋め立て計画を阻止するために彼に提案書を持っていっただけだ脅威が去りこの手で我が社を守れるならば私はそれでいいお前の懸念をなくす方が重要だ埋め立ての計画がなくなればひとまずは大丈夫なのだろう It's more important to ease your worries. Think, things will be fine now, right? Right? Shelby smiled gently. I could tell he had stopped the land reclamation out of concern for me. He still didn't fully believe in gods or divine powers, yet he worked to stop the plan. It wasn't to avoid divine wrath, but because he knew I was nervous about my parents' temple being buried. He fought on my behalf. I think it'll be fine now. I don't think that will unleash his wrath. Thank you, Shelby. Nara, you got that. Seeing his genuine relief, I felt such joy that I impulsively hugged him. Kora, <laughs> oi. There, there, Leah. Thanks, Shelby. I'm so happy right now. So, ka. So, come on, you're going to be more than that. I'm glad to see that you're this happy. Shelby blushed and looked away bashfully. It was a perfect, he was perfect in SS, yet so bashful. My Shelby hadn't been, changed since we met. And I was sure things would be fine for Shelby and me no matter what happened. I believed we shared a strong bond of trust. Oh. A few nights later, we stood on the Cape of Diemo Pedides, confirming that the land reclamation construction site had been moved on. The seas were back to their usual calm. We really had stopped the expansion project. よかった。本当に阻止できたようだな。I'm very glad we really did stop it. Yeah. これでオイスターも無事に育つといいんだが。I hope the oysters can be peaceful now. But they did. Do some land reclamation, so it's likely Mom's temple was destroyed. The Venus temple was somewhat in the ocean, somewhere in the ocean. The thought of it laying in ruins made me sad. Yeah, I said Venus no shinden ga koare ta mama to you no wa kono Mars ga yurusan. I cannot allow my beloved Venus's temple remain damaged. I, Mars, shall extract revenge. Huh. Dad. Dad appeared in the sky and interrupted our conversation. This was my dad, all right, the god of war Mars. He split the clouds and descended with a divine aura. Shelby was at a loss for words. In Dad's hand was his axe. He parted the seas like Moses did and instantly repaired Mom's temple. Moreover, he raised the temple from beneath the sea to the surface. A few seconds later, boom. Mom's temple stood with heavenly radiance at the top tip of the cape alongside Dad's temple. Where was that temple on the other route? Great question, Ray. And here's the answer it didn't matter. In the other routes. However, it was hinted at in Raul's route because they were saying when you took a photo in this area,、um, it showed a light around you if you looked like、uh, Venus and Mars. Are you doing a long stream today? I am going to be leaving in about an hour, so about six hours is my stream for the day. I've already done five. And you guys get to see the new bye bye screen when I leave. It's really cute. I have to make some more modifications, but it's so cute. What is this? Hmm. This is the miracle of the gods, the powers of the god of war Mars. This is the miracle of the gods, the powers of the god of war Mars. This is the miracle of the gods, the powers of the god of war Mars. This is the miracle of the gods, the powers of the god of war Mars. 
よくぞ埋め立て計画を阻止し我が愛するヴィーナスの神殿とマーズ神殿を守った褒めてやるとしよう Human, you did well in stopping the land reclamation. You deserve praise for protecting my beloved Venus, this temple, as well as mine. I didn't hear what you said. It says if you were seeing an ad or something. It's crazy. Are the ads done yet? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Shelby stammered, unable to process the events unfolding before him. His brain seemed to overload from the sight of that alone, but then. The ad's done now.、Um, I'm going to be streaming for about. 40 ish more minutes. <laughs> so I said it's gonna be about six hours today. Which means I might not finish his route before we're done. We're on spicy. I don't know if I'll have time to get to sweet and sweet and spicy. Which means he might disgrace the beginning of Alan's route to get to that. His brain seemed to overload from the sight of that alone, but then. Mazu! <laughs> I'm ready to post the wedding pics. Can I post them now? Technically, you can, right? We've seen all the wedding photos at this point. They all exist. There's none we're missing. Right? Alan's is the very first CG you get in Alan's route. You're so amazing. Now, Mom also descended and hugged Dad while continuing, continued levitating in midair. At least we finished Leon's route, the best route. Woof woof. Shelby's ability to process information was entirely overwhelmed. Projection mapping. I'm not tired of y'all. Toei object of my shit. Projection mapping, that's not it. I don't, I don't see any projectors. Moshia, LED light of a tita, Doron, the Hogan stated. To be a drone, yeah, some not working like. Yeah, those are their true god forms. That's how mom and dad usually look. They can fly, split the seas, repair temples, push up the sea floor. Gods really good. もしかしてまだ信じられていなかったのかしら、oh, うんそうなのかならばなぜこの埋め立て計画を阻止した我々のためだろう Is that so? Why did you stop the land reclamation? Wasn't that for us? あええそうと言いますか yeah, 彼女が心配していた<笑>エロースのためなの<laughs> oh my, it was for Edos. <laughs> That's the power of love, then. I do love our mom. Naruhodo. What did a Kamino Kotua sing to the Nagataga? I suppose that I'm s i n g to y o u It's over the top. Her looks are great. I'm gonna ask for him to find out what her. Birth chart placements are? What does that mean, Jay? So you didn't believe in the gods, but you trusted your beloved wife leading you to take action. Hmm. I like that. I can't do it. I'll say it again. I, Mars, have taken a liking to you. While saying that in a grandiose manner, Mom and Dad descended to the cave. They looked at Shelby and laughed. They were Shinden no metateo sosista hobini, non demo nega yo canoite ero. As a reward for stopping the land reclamation of the temples, I'll grant you any wish. Nega y. A wish? This. Hm. Kono gunshin marzuni canae rare nega y de ariba, ikra demo ki te erzo. Yes, any wish that I, the god of war Mars, can grant. Dad puffed out his chest proudly. Shall be thought for a while, then responded with a shy smile. I only have to be with her for my entire life. Shall be. His bashful tone made me blush too. I hadn't expected him to express his feelings for me so openly. Being with Shelby for life was my wish too. Hmm. Is so honored. Life. Hi. 一生彼女を私だけが独占したい
誰にも取られたくないそれが私の願いです He's gonna put me in a tower. Something felt off. Shelfie's declaration left an uneasy feeling in me. I looked at him trying to decipher this feeling, but he just gave me a gentle smile. Something was different. I didn't know why. What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I just. Gil? Is it just me, or did that feel ominous? Hmm. I'll grant your wish as a god. <笑>本当に刺激的で素敵な願いね<笑>私ゾクゾクしちゃう<笑> What a stimulating and wonderful wish I'm getting the shivers Stimulating? I don't think it was that strange of a wish I think I kept telling myself that but a sense of an ease lingered I think it was because Shelby used a tone I had never heard before But the wish itself seemed normal If asked for a wish it was the sort of Rare of the gods, I would make. That's what I thought. Then the day when I went to the office and realized a terrible way the wish had been granted, I was physically unable to be separate from Shelby. Dewa, Uchiawase ni dekake tekuru. Ichi jikan gunia modoru kara, sono tsumori de tanonda. Just imagine being in the voice actor booth of that lady. I would never be able to keep a straight face. I've seen like voice actor doing their jobs before, and I don't know why. When you see it by itself, you're like, what's happening? I'll be going to the meeting. I'll be back in an hour. Proceed accordingly. Yes, take care. Uh, as I was seeing Shelby off to his meeting, I went to su sit down at my desk when a mysterious force pulled me towards him. <laughs> Leah? Shelby caught me as I launched towards him. Even he was surprised at what had just happened. What was that? That's what I want to know. Did you just fly? I think I did. I thought I'd heard a sound before it happened. It was more like I was pulled towards him by some sort of force. It definitely wasn't something natural. A sinking feeling washed over me as I let go of Shelby. Shelby, can, can you stand right there? Oh. Oh. Sure. To try and verify my suspicions, I told Shelby to not move from where he was, and I took two steps back. But right as I was about five meters apart, I was suddenly pulled towards him. Ah! Uh, <laughs> whoa. I was yanked towards Shelby by mysterious force yet again. Why? I was being drawn to Shelby as if he were a magnet. Uh, One more time. All right. We both started to inch away from each other, and even had Shelby been the only one that moved to test the conditions, but the results remained the same. If I went any further than five meters from Shelby, I got thrown to Shelby. Why? <laughs> Start. Last night we know. We slept together. We couldn't tell. Last night we know. We slept together. We couldn't tell. Of course he likes her being told him. It's, I mean, maybe. We commuted by car today. The driver's seat, passenger seat are less than five meters apart. We didn't notice. We were changing clothes. We were together there. We made breakfast together. When I was putting on makeup, you were shaving. In other words, when did we clearly know we were more than five meters apart? At the very least, when I was in the talks with Eli for the business partnership, we were separate. Smari, Ototoi Madeva Futsuda Tahasta. Kino, Misakini Kumaini Shokujo Sta Cafe de Mo, Heki da Tato Moga. In other words, we were fine until yesterday. I think we were fine when we ate at the cafe before going to the cave. The cave, then that all means this is Dad's fault. Smari, Omaino Chioya. 
軍神マーズの力ということか I can't believe him. That has been a god for eons, but the way he grants wishes is always so sloppy, I have to call dad. I took out my smartphone and tried to contact dad, but then Shelby grabbed my hand. Yeah. No, let's leave things as they are. Huh? What do you mean? Currently, have to stay within five meters of me, right? I prefer it to stay that way. But there's no way you can work like this. You can just accompany me to the meetings as my secretary. Won't you do that for me? He looked at me with pleading eyes. He was absolutely serious about wanting to keep things as they were. That meeting is coming up soon, so maybe we can try to solve this problem later. I'll accompany today's meeting, but you have to talk about this later. Ah, I understand. Shelby gave a satisfied smile as he held as we held hands getting onto the elevator. For the whole day, I was in attendance with Shelby at all of his meetings. When the sun set, we were still inseparable. I mean, I guess. I guess. Okay. It's fine now. Upon returning home, Shelby and I took a bath together. <sighs> this was tiring. I was happy to be with Shelby, but this was mentally exhausting. In the past, I'd often accompanied him to meetings as his secretary. But if I forgot about it for a moment and got further than five meters, I would be launched to him right in front of the clients. I was always on high alert, ensuring I never stayed too far from him. Shelby, don't you find this a bit inconvenient? Maybe we should ask Dad. Yeah, このままでいい Now let's leave things as they are. To my surprise, Shelby seemed completely at ease with our unusual circumstance. Whenever I tried to bring up the issue with my dad, Shelby would stop me. It was as though this bizarre predicament was a dream come true for him. As for me, I harbored doubts. I'm not so sure about this. Shelby and I were inseparable, quite literally. The circumstances forced us to do everything together, even share baths. Indeed, it was an entirely inconvenient situation. I couldn't help but consider how there must be times Shelby would want to shower alone. However, our situation would be permanent. Wouldn't be permanent. Shelby, perhaps we should talk about this. Don't you ever feel the need for solitude? Yeah. As things stand, I can't imagine wanting time alone. Really, but what if I want to go shopping or something? If I accompany you, where's the problem? I think there are many problems with that. No, there isn't. Shelby leaned close to me, whispering something. Enveloped me in a tight hug. The wetness of his skin made me feel inseparable, as if we were glued together. But five meters is far too limiting. I need to convince Dad to increase it to ten at least. Caught up in my thoughts, I almost missed the long sigh that escaped Shelby. I always dreamed of being this close to you. Yeah, but. Surprise. Price is putting it mildly. He had once been the teacher's parasite, a man perfectly content in his solitude, unwed because he felt no need to marry. His life revolved around his work, or so he had claimed before we got married. The thought of him wanting to stay attached like this seemed inconceivable. As I grappled with this revelation, Shelby murmurs brought me back. <laughs> You remember when Eli was stalking you, vaguely. I remember. I was terrified he'd snatch you away from me. Really? Of course. That man was more than I was. 
地位もあるし余裕もある顔もいいとなれば焦って当然だ Absolutely Eli smarter more prestigious and more composed and his good looks add his good looks into the mix and you can see why I was concerned Yeah but he turns into a lobster You know you can trust him right もちろん信用していたつもりだお前なら平気だと信じていただから一応耐えられたんだ I believe you could handle it. That's how I managed to keep my. Danga, so no catawara de. What a shua zut to an old go k k a i s t a t a Yeah, k k a i s t a t a noa, an old go dake de one night. But that didn't stop me from being on guard, not just around Eli, but around every man in the world. Kono yoni is subet and old go ni taiste. You're simply too attractive. Kaykai. Shelby planted a kiss on the nape of my neck, whispering the words. His deep, raspy voice took on a slightly different form, revealing a hidden desire for Dominique. I still get jealous. That's <laughs> こんな臆病さが自分にあったとはな。私自身、そんなことを考えるようになるとは思ってもいなかった。だが、私の心に一度考え始めたら止まらなくなった。一度考え始めたら止まらなくなった。お前がいつもそばにいてくれたらどれだけいいだろう。Once the idea took root, though it never felt left me, I began to fantasize about you always being by my side. So, when your father asked what I wanted, I wanted to be inseparable. Did dad realize all this? Granting his wish in such a unique way, being a god might have understood Shelby's desires, leading to our current predicament. 一人で生きていられるとずっと思っていた。だから、もうお前なしでは生きていけない。だから、この奇跡は間違ってなどいない。こうしているのが、今の私の幸せなんだ。頼む。このままで。Please, let's keep things as they are. A bittersweet kind of happiness swelled within him, spicy and potent. He was convinced that this was the only right way. Shelby's embraced me from behind, was firm, his teeth raising my ear as if marking me as his own. Shelby. I stayed. I love you. Oh, my mom. I stayed. Do you love me too? His voice carried a note of fear. He voiced this plea like a prayer, terrified I might leave. I wanted to fulfill his wish as well. As a former deity, I felt that was my duty. Of course, I love you, Shelby. I spun around to kiss him, threading my fingers through his, his as reassurance. Let's keep it this way. We'll always be together, Shelby. <sighs> Yes. Forever. A deep guttural laugh rumbled from Shelby as I snuggled comfortably in his arms. He seemed to be filled with joy. He's breathing a lot. His longing for me, his urge to monopolize me, smoldered in his increasingly intense kisses. It was as if he had aimed to demonstrate, demonstrate that he could never tire of our days together. This feels so out of left field, honestly. At no point did he seem like this. He's the prestige parasite. He's been the prestige parasite. So, this is like a weird venture. 
I promise to make you happy, so please let's keep it this way. He was resorting to every possible tactic to win my agreement. Although he had previously confessed his constant fear of losing me, there was no need for it. I had no intention of leaving. He clung to me so tightly we almost fused together into one, but fear still flickered in his eyes. The inner workings of people's minds are invisible. He feared our hearts might drift apart, so he didn't want me out of his presence. In a peculiar twist of fate set by the gods, Shelby, a non-believer, clung to this miracle. But as long as it brought him peace, I felt it was okay. That was why I wanted to be with him. I embraced all of him, holding his hand and sharing a kiss. I wish that our bomb would grow so profound it would ease his fear. We vowed to stay together forever. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. I don't think I have enough time to get through the next two. I don't want to start and then have to like just be like, bye. So I, I don't know, should I try it? I don't think it's gonna be 25 minutes. Spicy was, was 30. You know what, we get to fast forward through some stuff. It's fine, we'll see, we'll see. We'll try to get sweet and then maybe we can just do sweet and spicy when we start Alan. We'll see. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Sound of him kissing her. I understand. Fine. I got up from my so sofa that I was sitting on and ran to Shelby, but... Straight. I hate this. You have to stay put. Huh? No. Poker match was reaching the end, and I had to reach Shelby before it was too late. The only way was to get Owen to relay the message. I glanced desperately in his direction, only to find he was being. Ruined. I hate this game. Listen. At no point did Shelby seem like the type of person that would want to lock his fiance slash wife in his house until that moment. And at no point in this game did it give the impression that he wanted to lock her up prior to that moment. So it's really strange. Owen, oh, you we have evidence of your betrayal. <laughs> what evidence? <laughs> information. I'm skipping it because technically we had this conversation already. <laughs> Come on, Owen's plea echoed. This is, we've already read this, despite my best efforts. The bring of destruction and our marriage was at stake. If Shelby lost, blah, blah, blah. We already did this. I don't know why you're acting like I've not already read this. Let me go. <gasps> we did this. Why is it acting like I haven't done this? It's printed to him. I was too late. All in. Oh my God. Is it really doing this to me? Why is it acting like I haven't read this before? That was weird. How dare it try to stick me in that thing just to keep listening to this happening. Alright, sweet. A year after our victory with Mr. Omar in the gamble. Oh, beach! We have a beach, you guys. We have a bingo. We got a bingo, incidentally. We have more than one, but that's the beach scene. Paradise is under attack. That's the mom. Healthy relationship. There's a question mark there. Um, this is definitely a Cupid Parasite ending. Oh, yeah. We almost have a full bingo, man. We just need someone to be disappointed in their relationship really fast. Hurry up. We found ourselves luxuri luxuriating on a newly purchased private beach. This feels good. I relished in the blazing sun and the calming sound of the ocean waves. 
They provided a luxurious experience enabling me to relax fully. I never anticipated living like a celebrity. As I picked up a magazine from the side table of my beach chair, I reflected on our incredible journey. How about this drink? Give it a try. Money isn't everything. Lost York Billionaire ranking 2023. That's last year. Ice melon soda tastes good. I hope you try and taste it. Billionaire Shelby Snell, Cupid Corp CEO. The issue I held was the latest edition of Corp's World. It was an economic magazine famed for its list of world's 40th wealthiest people. The current issue featured none other than Shelby. At 33, Shelby suddenly surged in wealth, had positioned him among the world's elite. What just happened? Why are you telling this? Hang on. It's telling me to do an update right now, which is wild since I'm in the middle of something. Remind me later, please. Like, like hey, do you want to update your software right now? You're, you've been using it for like five hours. Top wealthiest 44 individually says youth made him a topic globe a topic of global success discussion. While his poker prowess earned him the nickname Poker King. Wow. Oi. Leah. Shelby called my name and returned with a drink for me. He placed the drink on the table, then scooped me up off the beach chair. Oh, he's carrying the queen. Okay. 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 All right. I'm down. This looks good. I then found myself on top of him as I replaced the magazine. You're reading this again? Honestly, this is probably the second best ending, if I'm being real with you guys. This is not the worst. You're on the cover, Shelby. I can't help myself. <laughs> It's not like you don't see my face every day. It's still a novelty. Having my husband on the cover of a magazine. That's a weird cut. What happened? Spicy? I don't think Spicy was all that bad. Yeah, he's he's getting a little crazy, but I don't know. It's weird. It's weird for sure. In the beginning, our increased prosperity came solely from poker winnings. As per Mr. Omar's words, he relinquished ownership of the island and we participated in a tourism industry of Las York. Shelby demonstrated remarkable business acumen in handling those operations. <laughs> You know what? She had more free will, honestly, than even even our girl in Amnesia, if I'm being honest. Because in Amnesia, she was in a cage. She was in a cage. She couldn't come out of the cage. He kept her in the cage. He's protecting her. At least in this one, he's all like, please, please. <laughs> I have a list of business interested in being acquired. I've noted potential developments post acquisition acquisitions and areas of improvements. I'll thoroughly review them before proceeding with the purchase. All employees will remain post acquisition and join our corporate corporate group. This will benefit for, be a beneficial for them. I believe the cooperative structure will work well. Nah, so dana. Isogi, you should not in Zaga Tasu Hitsioda. Head do hunting no pro ni raisio. Kareni, apo to temoraruka. Some top notch staff. Let's hire a professional head hunter. Could you arrange a meeting? So, what's it as must understood? We've been preparing for a long time, and it's finally time to make Cupid Corporation a public company. We'll need to review the structures again. We're in a race against time now. Yes. We need staff. 
すぐに集なあ頼んだ社員一同意識を改めないとな上場すれば知名度も社会的責任も一気に上がる今までの日ではない I feel like I'm a Unikitty from a Lego movie. Like, business, 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 business. That's all I feel like. Please do. Employees must adjust their mindset as a public company. Our pro profile and social responsibilities increase. Danga, Yarukachi wa o i ni aru. Motto dai kibo de jigyo ga tenkai de kiryo ni na. Yaruki ni michita waga sha no shine touch de aleba. Jiko jits gen ga kanau i kikai ni naru daro. Ima de mo mina. Shelby, I love you, but shut up. We'll have a motivated team in place. We'll create opportunity for growth. There's been many great proposals. Challenge できる土壌があればもっとみんな喜びますよ。Once everyone's in a position to challenge themselves, they'll they'll be excited. Ah man. ここの土地だが新オフィスにちょうどいいだろう。広さも立地も申し分ない。購入しておいてもらえるか。The new office location is perfect. はい、承知しました。オフィスの建築はどこのハウスメーカーがよろしいでしょうかそうだな。八番街にあるベッドオールタワーを担当したメーカーにアポを取ってみてくれ。幾何学的で素晴らしかったからな。我が社の新オフィスもロサンヨークの新しいランドマークになれるよう。熟考しようあとは新規事業のショッピングモールについてだがすでにある6番街のショッピングストリートとコンセプトを明確に分けるあそこは若者のデートスポットをテーマにしているだろうならばこちらはファミリー層狙いで4番街にあるテーマパークの近くに展開するのがいいだろうかしこまりました確かテーマパーク横に膨大な土地が手つかずのままだった気がしますそれは朗報だ頼む株主総会開催の手配を頼む今後の事業展開の説明を行う This should have been a two paragraph conversation just so we knew what had happened. Not every conversation he's had since we've been gone. Please schedule a shareholder meeting. I need to present business. Plans. I'll arrange it. Los Angeles, Baltimore, Warrington. Next, I'm going to go to America and go to Japan. And then, in five years, I'm going to go to the world of the world. Lost York, Baltimore, Washington. Next, we expand inter internationally to Japan. In five years, we'll break into the space business. Oh no! He used DM or Pettides as leverage to boost his net worth. Shelby must have sought to position himself as high as possible to avoid further acquisition threats. As a result, he became a formidable corporate rivaling Omar Holdings. Cupid Corp had evolved into Cupid Holdings, branching out into diverse sections. Numerous companies now operated underneath it. See how fast that could have been if we'd gotten rid of all of that flashback? Shelby had truly climbed to the top as SS. Before we were married, he told me about his desire to elevate Cupid Corp to the highest ranking in law s h o r k and then the country. Shelby had said that he finally felt like a proper man. <sighs> This is rather sweet. Shelby sampled the drink and smiled wearily. Let's see. I took a sip and an intensely sweet flavor filled my mouth. It was delicious, ice cold, and super sweet cranberry juice. It's good. So, good. I see, I'm glad you like it. I may have been overly sweet, but it was the perfect refreshment for such a hot, sunny day. I have so much fun and felt so content. As I basked under the scorching sun, I stole a glance at Shelby because I hated myself. Hey, Shelby. Nanda. What is it? Do you think you're truly becoming SS now? I asked if there were still goals he wished to do achieve. He chuckled softly. <laughs> どうだろうな。ままだできることとはあると思うが。Also, is this umbrella bath and body works? You decide. I don't know. Personally, I feel there's still much to accomplish. だが、確かにここに来てようやく初めて SS になれたと思えたような気がする。I think we can say I've truly become SS. 常に仕事をしていることが正しいと考えていたが心にも時間にも余裕を持ちバランスを取る方がよっぽど。
ほど難しく有意義だったんだな。I've always believed that there is value in hard work, but it's been even more challenging and rewarding to find the right balance. I thought he was plenty wonderful already. I couldn't help but laugh hearing Shelby say that it took him this long to fill that way. だがどれだけ資産があろうと立派な男になろうとお前がいなくては意味がない。No matter how large my network grows, no matter how establishments a man established a man I become without you, it's all meaningless. お前がここにいてくれれば私はそれでいい。Gently caressed my cheek with his palm and leaned in for a kiss. A single droplet spilled from a glass in my hand. The chilled liquid evaporated quickly under the blade. お前はどうだ What about you? Me? Same Z's. 今の生活で満足しているか Are you content with your life as it stands? He met my life living like a celebrity. Due to Shelby's newfound fame, we stood out. That was why I put my work on hold. In fact, when I commuted to work on foot, I was hounded after, after by paparazzi numerous times. It was tough when it reached the point I could sense destiny at play as Shelby shaped his life in this way. The catalyst was when news broke of Shelby's position among the Los York's top earners. Why didn't His wife have a car. We are not doing this. We were strolling as usual. Shelby, I was thinking of making food. Do you want some? Will you be home late? So, Dana. Are the day staff in my case, I have delegated more stuff tasks to staff. I think you'll be home early. Snail, Shah, France, no, die, Kyo, Nikach, Celeb, no, Naka, Mai, Rio, Sarita, Ima, Donna, Oki, Mochi, Deska. ウワサでは多数の企業を買収予定だとか目指すところはどこですかそちらが奥さんのスネイル夫人ですよねさすが愛妻家毎日一緒に出社しているんですかそちらが奥さんのスネイル夫人ですよねさすが愛妻家毎日一緒に出社しているんですか You must be Mr. Snail. You've known for your dedication to your husband. You all accompany him to work every day. Kare no doko ni hore tan desu ka? Zen Rosan Yoka Joshi Akongare no Shelby Shachou to no nare some. Oshiete kudasai. What attracted you to him? Shelby being desired by every woman everywhere. How did you two meet? Um. Hito koto de inde. Kotaete kudasai yo. We'll settle for a single comment. The barrage of questions came past, accompanied by a fury of unauthorized photo. すまない、本日は急いでいる。要件があれば、会社を通して連絡してくれ。そうすれば何でも答える。I apologize, we're in a hurry today. If you need a statement, please contact our office. I'll answer any questions then. すまえの質問も同様だ。彼女を困らせるようであれば、許さない。The same goes for my wife. I will not allow you to cause her any distress. な、早くこっち。ああ、待って And we ran, grabbed my arm, went to a back alley. We changed our routes from time to time. They found us. So, Dana, where did you see the person? Yeah, I think this is a difficult life to live. I'm going to have to adapt to our lifestyle. I'm going to have to adapt to our lifestyle. But he picks our clothes, Ned. It's okay. We're not being pursued. まだ追いかけてくるのか<笑>とりあえずどこかの店に入ってやり過ごす方が良さそうだな目立たないような。I would argue that Rupi has the most wedding dress photos, actually, because there's also the one where he's baking out with her. But I guess you can't see it that well in that one. I mean, they get married in every other end. I think Peter's is my favorite out of clans. And then also Raul's, just her dress. New reporters creepy always. Let's duck into a store and shake them off. We need somewhere to be conspicuous. I know just the place. 
Moe's Donuts. This is so, so boring. We went to a popular donut shop. The paparazzi wouldn't expect us to hide here. <laughs> reverse psychology? That is not reverse psychology. I have a feeling this will be the last place they'll look. Ah, there's a lot of value. シャイの連絡はしておくから少しここで隠れているとしよう。We'll take two for our takeout, please. Oh, and we'd like to get something for here, too. Wakarimashita. Nimei sama desu ne. Asoko no oku no seki, o tsukai kudasai. What do you have here? Uh, what would you like? Kono dark choko ni nuts ga furi kakete aru mono ga uma so da na. Dark chocolate sprinkled with nuts looks appealing. As we pursued the, uh, the display case, the entrance door swung open. Irashai mase. Initially, I was anxious, thinking it could be more paparazzi, but the employee reaction suggested it was a regular customer who you slept with in a different world. Oh, gosh, stretching. Good morning, Robin. Yes, the usual, please. Mm hmm. The tall customer who entered after us took a quick look at me, then pulled a donut out. He peeked at it through the hole of the donut. Why does he already have a donut? Is he here to buy more? He must really love donuts. Caught up in my thoughts about the donut, I was surprised when he addressed with an, an odd comment. Mm. If I had a dollar for every, every attractable, undateable character. He's a dateable character, unless you're talking about Robin. Robin's fine. What brings you here, my lady? Huh? Anata no unme karawa. Daremo inai kaigan de kutsuroi de iru sugata ga miemas. Your destiny, as I see it, involves relaxing on a secluded beach. Ah, daremo inai to you no toa chigai masne. That's secluded exactly. Tonari ni wa tsune ni. So kono kare da ke ga iru. Following his cryptic remark, we glanced at each other. Watashko? Eh, so des. Yes, you. クランベリージュースはとてもとても甘く喉に張り付きますがそれが二人を永遠に甘い関係へといざないますクランベリージュースはスウィートにスティックするところがありますそれが運命なのですバイビーのことですこれは運命なのです I keep listening to your VOD on Miraness too many times. Oh my goodness, why? Why? Cranberry juice fate. I like to play the background when I'm bleeding. What are you talking about out of the blue, my guy? Ah, Merenis. Scaring him. Sumi Masen. He's a fortune teller. Or John. Uranaish. Fortune teller. While I was still processing the information, Shelby seemed intrigued. I had no idea Shelby was interested in fortunes. It was uncommon for successful business owners to have a personal fortune teller, but I assumed Shelby didn't believe in it. Could it be that he started to entertain more spiritual beliefs after discovering I was stupid? I keep having it on since I didn't pay attention, so I don't know what hap what's happening. So do you know now? You said it's in the background, so are you paying attention or is it just still there? Is his fortune telling act? Hi, Kanari Atarute, your bandesia. Karini Uranate Hoshi Hitotachia. Dosan Yok, Scoshi, Daremoina Kaigante, Mujinto no Kotoka, Merinis. What about a deserted shore? Could it be some deserted island? Ye, Sono Kotaiwa Karega Mo Motte Yukato. I still don't know what's happening, but so fair. I believe he has the answer. What does she go? ダレモイナイコイゴン。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェジェット。ジェ
お前は海を見てはしゃいでいただろそれでああそうか right, right, right.、Huh. Hello, hello, うわかったぞ。やはり購入する運命だったのだな。これで決心がついたぞ。早速、入札してくる The donut fortune telling was right. We ran from the paparazzi, stumbled upon a donut shop, encountered a fortune teller, and that set us on the path to purchase the beach. That could be of the entire conversation. We didn't need the flashback. We didn't need the flashback. It must be fate, as he said. Even if we weren't working, our wealth continued to grow, diminishing my urge to return to work. The constant attention and surprise from people made it challenging to maintain my former work routine. So we enjoyed our time at the beach and relaxed alone. They look cute. They do look cute. But the fact that this could have just been two paragraphs and not a bunch of flashbacks. They do look like a model couple. I'm glad she gets a costume change, at least in a CG. I always wanted to return to the field as a former Cupid. I love matchmaking. Shelby was aware of my longing express. こうして過ごす今にお前は満足しているか I hate this game. Are you satisfied with your life? 現場に戻りたいと前に言っていたと本当にいいのかこうして私といてもらって Well, I do want to return at some point. Shelby, ever since we got married, you've been so busy to be honest. I have always wanted to be by your side. I think it's turned you off from turning it. Oh my god. Maybe sweet required chocolate donuts. You know, maybe. Maybe that's all it required. That'd be funny. But we have 100% sweet, so I don't know. What I want most right now is to be with you. So I see. Shelby was relieved to hear my answer. His vulnerable expression was a stark contrast to the man on the cover of Forbes magazine. Seeing him that way deepened my love for him, making me smile. No matter how much our network might increase, there was only one thing we truly desired. Radiant Tell fanfare is too short. Aww, is it though? We've only done Leanne and Genius. Have you already done more than that? Now we could dedicate all of our time to that. Even if we chose to stay together until we tired of each other, no one could chastise us or no. <sighs> come closer <sighs> to me. No. Like this? <sighs> That's so that. perfect. As I leaned in, we shared a kiss before locking faces. No one would disturb, disturb us on this private beach. We were free to express our love as much as we desired. In this secluded spot, far from the rest of the world, it felt as though we were the last two people on earth. I s t a y e d Ashitaru, I love you too, my dude. We kissed again, running our hand through each other's sea dampened hair. Our lips were stained by cranberry juice, making the kiss exceptionally sweet. Finally, we're alone together. ヨガができたらしたいことが山ほどあったんだお前と二人でな<笑> Oh when I saw someone play the fantasy in Japanese they finished it quickly after stories like four or five hours I think Interesting There was so many things I wanted to do but we finally had the time just the two of us Well That's good. Maybe I'll finish a, ch a chapter and a video and then、uh, we can play demos. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be great. Just wait. Having finally become the ideal SS, he has more time. Shelby slowly reaches out to me. I wanted to ask what he had in mind, but his lips were quick to interrupt. The echo of the waves was our only soundtrack. 
Maybe. That means she'll finish it quickly. We can only hope. We kissed under the midday sun of this private beach. Our fingers intertwined as we lost ourselves in each other. Then what's the plan for next month? Uh, it might be Caller X Malice or Shred Maniacs. If if I don't play a Hakuoki, which I'm not sure about because Hakuoki is a very long game and I'm not sure I want to challenge myself to that. Lurkin. Shamadalada. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> there was no more worries. I looked up at the cloudless azure sky. The sweet happiness we found would be savored for the rest of our lives. What a sweet ending. Wow. I like that it's ghost face booty twerking. Technically, it's better. Because everybody loves ghost face. Are back we finished Shelby's route I am gonna be combining this with the other parts of Shelby's is all together so if you're seeing this it's actually two streams ha 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 what a trick what a trick and then we have something new that we're gonna be playing today too so that is gonna start after um, and there is something on distracted so easily distracted watch watch how easily distracted I am um, there is something going to be on Discord too about it because they gave me some freebies to give out to people watching. So that's going to be fun. Ooh. Ooh. So we're doing the sweet and spicy ending. That's what we're doing right now. So I don't know how long it is, but as soon as we're done with it, we are going to be hopping onto another game. And then I don't know how long that game's going to be. So if it isn't that long, I might up start a demo. I have some demos re-downloaded as you guys know I like to <laughs> everyone's lurking today <laughs> I like to uh download demos and never play them so at last at last all right so we are going to do that and then we're gonna get the I am here <laughs> thank you friend and then I'll go over this stuff with the uh I'm ne I'll never leave. You say that, but you did though. I'm a parasite. Oh, is that your parasitic trait? I was actually talking about this game to someone. I was like, and his parasitic trait is that he loves work. And he's like, oh, is that why it's called Cupid Parasite? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they uh, decided to be. What is the spicy answer? Oh, when you tell him. That was the spicy answer. Spicy darling, we did it. Oh my god, who would have known? Several days after winning the gamble with Eli Omar. Dewa, kore kara mo yoroshiku o negai itashimasu. This is the sweet and spicy one, right? Right? I'm on the right one. Yeah, okay. This is how that one last one ended, that's all. Hey, Snail Shachono Kandai na Shochini. 
感謝しております Omar and Shelby shook hands. Much had happened. Using the mass media coverage of the gamble's outcome, Shelby secured a beneficial business, business partnership with Mr. Omar. Instead of pursuing the short term benefits of owing the island, he delegated operations to Omar Holding while planning for further profit. Same. Shelby lacked the experience to run an amusement facility like the Amor p e d i g e He retained ownership of a significant amount. It's all the same. Is this the right endies? It says read and light. Okay, it is. Okay. Make a dancing chomper. They have to be so tiny, though. That's the thing. Otherwise, they look silly. Shelby didn't stop at civil business partnership. He took over that. I'm not gonna sit here and read things we already know. Lion that was a little bit of 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 a l i t フランスだからあくまで Guys, I'm gonna skip it because this is the same conversation they had. If they end up at the beach and his, her dad pops up those two shrines, お前と一緒に身の丈に合った形でそれに元はといえば買収、脅威が去りこの手で我が社を守るお前の権利 What the heck? Are they just gonna repeat the entire thing? What if sweet and spicy is just the sweet ending all over again? Wait, no, that was the spicy ending. Right? We did spicy first. Did you already do her spicy end? Yeah, we did spicy end, which is where the dad connects them together forever and ever and ever. Five meters apart, baby.、Um, we got that ending. And this is how that one started. This is the same conversation. なるほど。It also came out of left field at no point. Well, I guess kind of. Okay, that's a little bit wrong. That, not at no point, but it was not strongly suggested that he felt. Skip to the beach. Dude, what the heck?、Um, they have. Like, he doesn't feel like he's that, like, attached to her. He almost feels almost like he's detached to her, which is part of the problem. So, like, what the heck? If I swear. It's the same. It's all the same to the wish. Oh, okay. You got the wish. Weird. So then dad pops up. Flip the cloud. Brings up mom's temple. Yeah, this all happened. Okay. But he didn't ever seem this insecure about her leaving him. And I don't know why they decided to do that to him too. So suddenly. But I don't know. It felt weird. It wasn't my least favorite, I guess, but it definitely wasn't my favorite ending. No. What is this? Hmm. <laughs> プロジェクションマッピングもしや LED ライトがついたドローンで表現しているとかいやそんなわけないです。
日常って本当にあらうんそうなのあ This might be where it changes. They looked at Shelby and left. Dewa, Shinden no Umetate o Sosista Hobini, Nandemo Nega yo Kanoite Yaro. As a reward for stopping the land reclamation of the temples, I will grant you any wish. Nega yi. A wish. Hmm. Kono Gunshin Mars ni Kanae Rare Nega yi de Yareba, Ikra demo Kite Yarzo. It's like gonna make this. I thought this would be longer. It's almost sad that I didn't just finish yesterday. <laughs> Any wish that I, the god of Mars, war of Mars, can grant. Dad puffed out his chest proudly. Shelby thought of for a while, then responded with a shy smile. Then, my son, will you give me your daughter? So loud! What the heck is that? I'd like to formally ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. You guys are already freaking married, huh? Oh no! Oh dear. What? They're already married. Why are you acting surprised? That's right, that's right. Why ask now? Actually, I didn't expect that. Regret not properly introducing myself to you two was not very SS of me. Kanojo wa kinishina kute ii to itte imashita ga. Yahari, kichinto go ryoshin ni mo mitome te itadakitakite. She told me not to worry about it, but I still want your approval. Kanojo no koto wa shiawase ni shimasu. Otou san, musume san to no kekkon wo aratame te mitome te kudasai. I promise to make her happy, please, as my father-in-law bless our marriage. Shelby, we were already married, and Dad had been, had even been to, at our wedding ceremony. Yet Shelby seemed determined to do things formally, and his soul, solemn expression nearly moved Dad to tears. Mochirunta. Of course. Ah, I fear. Omae hodo, lippa na ningen wa inai daru. Musume o. You're a good man. I trust you with my daughter. I mean, you have to. They're already married. But I mean, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't. Hi. Thank you. Dad and Shelby shook hands, their faces glowing with joy. That's a lame wish. He made a lame wish. That's not even a wish. And also, if it's a wish, they had no choice but to agree. Um, it's not even for. That doesn't. That's not a wish. That's not what a wish. You said I want to formally. No. No. A short while after that heartfelt exchange between Dad and Shelby. Shelby, 社長。改めてよろしくお願いいたします。President Shelby, I thank you for giving me another opportunity. Ah, よろしく、Owen. I look forward to working with you again, Owen. Owen was finally back at Cupid Corp. He had discovered Mr. Omar's intentions to cheat during the bet and tried to alert Shelby. At the same time, I had been yearning to get back to work in my previous role rather than as a secretary. We both urged Owen's urged Owen to return as the president's secretary. He hesitated for a while, but finally decided to come back to Cupid Corp. Owen declared his intention to atone for his past mistakes through his work and resumed his role as secretary. And so, yes, I'm back at my old role. Look at me, freed from my duties as secretary. I returned to my former position as a bridal advisor. This was the job I had longed to do again. It allowed me to be Cupid in the human realm. Okay, Welcome back. Ah, you're a different person. You're an odd one. You gave up a better-paying secretary job to work here. You're an odd one. You gave up a better-paying secretary job to work here. It's as if her husband owns the company. Does it matter where she works? Because I love this job the most. 
job satisfaction was more important to me than salary. After all, we only live once, so it's best doing something you love. And I literally am married to a guy who is definitely a millionaire. <laughs> Imagine them being like, wow. I get it, working at Cupid Corp is fun. オマールの方に行ったこたちも結局こっちの方がいいって戻ってきたものね。Christmas <笑> But we entered into a business partnership, right? It could be exciting to have a business trip there, don't you think? To be fair, I can just see it. I can just see that it was pinned. I just assumed since she was lurking. <laughs> she agrees with me. Yeah, I mean, I think we all agree. I think at this point, we're all just on the floor in a puddle of our own tears over this fan disc. Absolutely. If we have the next day off, we could turn the trip into a mini vacation. Maybe I'll request to send to be sent there. The employees seemed thrilled by this new run branch of Cupid Corpse. It was a huge boost for morale. This evolved version of Cupid Corpse was meeting both the needs of bridal advisors and the demand of lost Yorkers. I could sense a unique happiness here. Everyone can't stop talking about how great the new location is. A few days after Shelby and I took a vacation at DMR Petites, where I told him about the employees' excitement about the new brand. I'm going to be so real with you. That, that is not a temple. That is half a door, by the way. That's an entrance to a temple with no temple behind it. That's reassuring. If the ground level employees are happy with the direction we're taking, all the better. If any issues arise, I want you to know I'm committed to resolving them. Yes. We sat side by side on a bench overlooking the sea. The rejuvenated temples of my parents had become popular attractions at DML Pedides. Shelby had suggested the idea to Omar, leading to a creation of a new tourist spot. The underwater tunnel my mom had wished for was built, linking visitors to the Venus Temple and the Mars Temple. Now you're telling me it's underwater. What's happening? I can see it. Are you saying most of it's underwater? Why did he only bring the front part out? Thanks to those developments, a wave of tourists now visited the two temples. What was once unique to Greece now had a home in Lost Shirk as well. My parents were delighted by this and even asked if we had any wishes for them to fulfill. My father, who had grown fond of Shelby for holding the development project and establishing a new tourist spot, was surprisingly pleased. Who would have thought Dad would end up liking Shelby so much? Maybe it's like another portal? I, I honestly probably. They're like, look, magic is real. My hand disappears when it enters the portal, comes back to this world, enters the portal, it's gone this time. Yes. Who would have thought? He was often overbearing and we'd had our fair share of clashes. At our wedding, his tears made me unsure of what he thought about Shelby. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just overthinking. It's a girl thing. Don't worry. Shelby blushed a bit as he caught me staring at him with a smile. Nothing. I was just thinking about how well things turned out. So tell me, are you happy with your life, our lives now? Absolutely, I couldn't be happier. I'm with the man I love, doing the job I've always want, dreamed of. What else could I ask for? That's good to hear. Good, I'm glad you think that. Shelby smiled, then leaned over to me. And he smooched me. This is that sweet and spicy ending, CG. I'm underwhelmed. I'm un you know what the last one I got for Leanne was? It was the most beautiful CG I've seen with sparkles. 
We shared a kiss at the setting sun, bathed us in its warm red glow. <sighs> wow, my heart started racing from the sensation of our lips touching. Despite the countless kisses since our marriage, for some reason, this one made my heart pound. That's <sighs> a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Right, 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 right. Guys, I've lost all my emotions. <laughs> oh no! Shelby seemed to share the same sentiment. We both blushed, then leaned in for another kiss. The spot where our lips met felt like a tingling sensation, spreading a sweet pair, pair, why are you, why, perilous? Throughout my body, she's paralyzed now. Perhaps our hearts raced because we finally felt like a proper married couple. <laughs> okay. Right now? You've been married. What do you mean proper married? You've been married. We had our shares of disagreements. There were days when we couldn't see each other, leading to misunderstandings. We had been angry, unable to understand. Unable to understand Shelby's perspective and felt lonely enough to cry. But together, we overcame those hardships and found happiness. Mom was right. Even with misunderstandings, as long as love exists, this things work out. I'm sure we would have more fights and misunderstandings in the future. No matter how hard, how tough things may get, I believe that Shelby and I could overcome anything together, so it would be okay. No. Leah, Shelby, <laughs> Shelby. We looked into each other's eyes as we said each other's name. I'm so happy I married you. I want to be so real with you, Shelby. I was your only option. Um, if I didn't marry you, you were going to be die alone, actually. You were going to die alone. Me too. I love you. I truly love you. I love you too, my guy. Me too. Keep saying it back and forth. We're just going to go, me too, and me, and me, and me. Our smiles were as right as the most precious treasure as we kissed again and again the backdrop of the setting sun its golden glow painted the water's surface and the ocean breeze softly brushed our cheeks okay with this our regular routine resumed we tried to share meals as often as we could and commute together whenever possible boring on one particular morning we finished breakfast and prepared to leave for work Shall we go? Wait, Shelby, your tie is crooked. There, I'll fix. Oh, thank oh. Thanks. Shelby dipped his head and kissed me after I adjusted his tie. Come on. One morning, we're, our mornings were always a whirlwind and his spontaneous kisses left me unsure how to respond. It's a morning pack, bro. Like that's a morning, that's a, that's a normal morning for a couple. He must have noticed my flustered expression because a proud grin spread across his face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Please try. Oh my god. You're always too much. Small gestures like that always get to me. Before we were married and just lived together, I always wanted to kiss you every time you fixed my necktie. Okay, but like, were we dating? Now that we're married, there's no reason to hold back. Really? When I adjust your tie, I don't recall that. Ah, oh, I tried. I'm almost out of chapstick. This is what my life has said. I'm like squeezing with all my might and nothing comes out and I'm sad. <laughs> I kept it under wraps back then. You might not have noticed. <laughs> you looked so adorable. It was a challenge. <laughs> oh yeah, it was sticker day at Dutch Bros. So I have a Dutch Bros with me. I got their new flavor. It's a... Cookie dough? And mocha, which is what is all the darkness right now. Shelby cleared his throat as he reminisced. The sticker was really cute. I loved it in the living room, so you can't see it. But it was a game. It looked like an arcade cabinet. And it said, let's chill. Something like that. <laughs> or just chill. 
I never would have guessed Shelby felt that way during our pretend contract based marriage. The sticker and the flavor of your drink is more interesting than this, bro. It was blue um, as well, just to add to the, the sticker, just so you can picture it. It surprised me to realize that Shelby had harbored such feelings even before we were officially married. I couldn't pinpoint exactly when he began seeing me as a romantic light. Yet his blossoming emotions sparked a similar response in me, leading us to share uh, to the shared happiness we now enjoy. <laughs> We're running late, we need to hurry. Okay, look at the time. If only our office was closer to home. Glancing at my watch, I sighed as much as I wanted to continue chatting with Shelby given our commute, we had to leave or risk being late. With the drive from our home on First Avenue, while the drive from our home from First Avenue didn't take long, the commute from our 8th Avenue home was considerably easier. So that's right. 8番街か9番街あたりでもう少し住みやすい家を探すか? Perhaps we should consider finding a place on 8th or 9th Avenue would be more convenient. どちらも人気エリアだから。気に入る物件を見つけるまで時間はかかるだろうが。This is the happily ever part, you know what I mean? I want to know what Shelby Snell and Cupy's baby was going to look like. I want to know what Alan and Cupy's baby would look like. Look how cute, oh my god. Like think about it. I was joking about this, but uh, turns out it's real. Ominous. Both areas are popular. It may take some time to find a place we both like. Asia, Asia, why are you drinking tea? What's up? I know, but I adore this house. We've made so many memories here. So I'm also hesitant about leaving this home. Let's take some time to think it over. As he spoke, Shelby opened the front door. I didn't care what you're talking about. Okay. <sighs> Shelby suddenly froze in place. Upon opening the door, Cupid Corpse stood right before us. Huh? <laughs> nether portal for no reason. Look, it's nether portal to work, though. Like, imagine. It's actually just Kalida, where you can just fast travel in the underground maze tunnel. I am literally, I'm wearing a skirt for the record, and my skirt is apparently caught underneath me, and I'm trying to stretch my legs, and I can't because my skirt. Ugh. Am I hallucinating? Shelby shut the door, rubbing his eyes in disbelief. I would have done the same, but had I not been wearing makeup, so true. I wear makeup so infrequently that when I do, I always end up rubbing my face. I turned around to verify that we were still indeed at home. Upon exiting our house, we should have been stepping out onto First Avenue sidewalk. <laughs> I might still be half asleep. Yeah, it's alright. Let's go try again. <laughs> right, right, right. Here it goes. <laughs> Shelby gathered himself and opened the front door once again. To his surprise, Keep a Corp was standing right there once again. Are we dreaming? A shared hallucination? I doubt it. Our home was supposed to be on 1st Avenue, yet after opening the door, we found ourselves on 7th Avenue. The phenomenon was mystifying. Shelby opened and closed the door several times to validate that what we were experiencing. I'm just guessing, but could this be Dad's doing? Do you mean your father? Yeah, my dad. Yes, dad. That's what my dad is, dude. Mentioned wanting to express his gratitude to you. I think mom and dad used their divine powers to switch the location of our homes, of the homes on 1st and 7th Avenue. That would certainly shorten our commute. It's an unexpected boon, but... Shelby, you sound a little like you're gonna abuse power. Um, that's a deep voice. So this is what divine power feels like. Oh my god. Oh god, I hope 9 RIP is as good as it looks, because I want Ken to have a chance to show himself in a better light than this. 
Talk about playing God. Shelby placed his hand on his forehead and looked up at the sky. I felt a similar sentiment rallying up within me. The gods often impose their whims upon us with their immense power and unchecked will. Even as a former god, I couldn't help but marvel at the raw strength of dad's divine intervention. I wish he was power hungry in the spicy route. It's a disappointment. Yeah, instead of spice, he's just, he's, he's 10 times the simp he had been the entire game. Together, Shelby and I stood hand in hand, hand on our foreheads, gazing up at the sky. That's it. And then it's over, guys. <laughs> I hope we will always be together. This show, this show. Yeah, I'm adding it to the last spot. I already said it. I was going to do that. You weren't here when I first said it. Because there was so little left to do, I just knew I wouldn't get through both of them before I had to leave. And I was running late by the time I finished the second one. I meant to leave the house at 5. I ended my stream at like 5 Teehee. <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Let's just see if there's anything else we're missing before I switch games. 13 out of 13, we got all of them. But yeah, I was like, you know what? I have some time before I start my stream. Why don't I go through, not that. What if I go through these? Um, which is, this is this is a testament to how much I like Gil. Um, and, and upload these sounds I've saved. And then I went to here and was like, oh, let's delete it after I play it, the first one, so I can have fresh ones. And it deleted every single one I had for Alan. <sighs> but currently uh rookie has 12 raul only has four this is because i didn't find out this but until after raul um shelby has 47 and this is this is just so many dot dot dot, dot. <laughs> this, this one part where it's just like dot 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 yeah <laughs> <coughs> this is everything I say for his. Um, and then, ah. Uh, <laughs> I have 27 for Peter, but like. I just saved every single time he did Chi voice. Um, that's it. There's so. <laughs> it's just so funny. Chi, 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 chi. This guy has such a range. Uh. Chi, chi. We don't care about Chi. I care. I care about Chi. I don't care about the other one, which I have some of those here. I stopped playing those ones pretty fast. These ones, yeah, no. <laughs> I so quick, it's just normal cheese sounds. Um, Miranus had 32. So far Shelby's winning, but it's all his breathing. Um, and then random people, this is all different people. I got 40 of these. We got Ray, we got Minerva. Uh, I hate him, you hate him. All right, well, it's time to change. We're gonna change the stream title to I Can Date a Girl. And then we're going to change the category to my, I think it's my candy. My Candy Love, it's next gen specifically because there's two, new gen, new gen. Wouldn't Bumble Pig be there in other? No. Bumble Pig was an Allen. It was an Allen. Because Allen's the voice of Bumble Pig. In fact, just so you can, I'm not gonna play them, but as you can see, it says Chi. It doesn't say Jupiter. It doesn't say Peter. Um, but when Jupiter talks, it says Jupiter. And when Peter talks, it says Peter. It does distinguish the three different voices. So Bumble Pig is, would be under Alan because it's voiced by Alan. 
Ta-da! I deleted all of Alan's voice clips accidentally because I was I knew I was gonna have more when I played Alan's route and uh, I, I I ruined my life. It's fine. I'm gonna go back and get it. We're gonna get the death of, of Alan as a soundbite. I just messed up and thought it would delete the one. But when you click to delete, it deletes the entire thing. Like there's a little trash can next to it. There should just be the one. Delete them all. So yeah. But yes. Yes, yes. I'm gonna see if there's anybody we can raid really quick. Is my camera blurry? Hello? Too bright in here? What are you focusing on? Who is the, my chair? Not my face? What's happening? Thank you for this room. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. That's loud and I hate it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see if there's anybody we can raid. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, I stream. It's brighter than the sun. I have this light, so if I turn this off, let's see what happens. It doesn't really change much, but it makes the background darker, which is the big thing. And this is this is a really bad light. So I just need to modify my stuff because it's so so bright right now. It's so weird. But as I was saying, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out, oh, we have a person playing, playing QB right now, perfect time. It's our friend. I do have to run, so when you guys get in there, just let her know that I can't hang out. All right, so yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, I stream about three times a week on Twitch. And as always, guys, everybody on Twitch, you can hang out on YouTube if you wanna watch my old videos and remember what we've done together or what you don't remember because maybe you disassociated like I do. And always visit us on Discord and we can see all our fun chats. We will be having something happening on there soon, so keep an eye out. Alright guys, I hope you guys have a lovely day and please enjoy my ending screen because it's brand new! Yay!